Welcome back to Tokyo. Welcome back to round two. Game two, the Netherlands took down Cuba in game one. The nightcap, Japan and Chinese Taipei. Hi everybody, Rich Waltz along with Buck Martinez. Welcome to Tokyo. It's already loud in here. This is gonna be some scene. Chinese Taipei had loud crowds in Taichung, but they've never seen anything like this. Now it's gonna be a special night for these young players from Chinese Taipei. They had the home team rooting for them when they were at home in Taichung, but it's a different atmosphere tonight. This place is gonna be jam packed. It'll be exciting for them. But they've got a big leaguer to hand the ball to, and that's gotta be nice. Chin Ming Wong looking for a ball club for 2013. He's off to a good start. He was outstanding against Australia. Well, he sure was, and Chen Ming Wong has been battling injuries since 2008, and against Australia, he looked like he was back. Great sinking fastball, and that's his trademark. When he's down in the zone, he can beat anybody. Chen Ming Wong had more wins than anybody in baseball in 2006 and 2007, pitching for the New York Yankees. If he shows again tonight that he's healthy, he is going to quickly become one of the most attractive free agents on the pitching market. Certainly, there's a lot of enthusiasm in the building, but there is concern. In Fukuoka, 20 hits for Japan, 19 singles. So the question is, can the big bats get going? And the biggest bat is Shunosuke Abe, the catcher. Yeah, the catcher last year was the MVP in the Japanese league, and they need him to come around. He had 27 home runs. That was second in the league. He was the MVP in the Central League with a 340 average. He's got power. He's a nine-time All-Star. Actually, he's starting to swing the bat well. He had three good at-bats against Cuba in the pool series finale, but he's got to get some hits, and he has to have some meaningful hits. They need their cleanup hitter to drive in some runs to get them off on the right foot here tonight. Now, it was a power show in the first game with the Netherlands and Cuba hitting balls out of here. The Netherlands set the tone early to get the upset. What does Chinese Taipei have to do to set the tone here? Well, the one thing they have to do is make sure they catch the ball, don't make any mistakes, and lean heavily on Chen Ming Wong. He doesn't give up many home runs, and we've talked about it. Japan is really hard-pressed to get extra base hits. Chen Meng Wong matches up very well against them tonight. This is gonna be special. It's electric in here. This is the first time a second round game has been hosted here in Japan, and they have come out to see their home team play as Japan takes on Chinese Taipei. Game two, round two. Come on in. 42,000 are waiting for you. Japan and Chinese Taipei. Moments away from the start, Japan and Chinese Taipei. Tokyo Dome, ready? Japan is the visiting team, and they've shaken up the line of trying to get the offense going. The designated hitter is Katsuya Kakanaka. He has only two at-bats. He was 0 for 2 earlier in the tournament. Hirokazu Ibata hits second. Seiichi Uchikawa in right. Shinosuke Abe, the catcher. Yoshio Itoi in center. Hayata Sakamoto is at shortstop. He has struggled as well. Sho Nakata in left. Atsunori and Nava will shake down in the number eight spot. And Takayashi Toritani is a surprise start at third base. Chin Ming Wong, 32. He turns 33 at the end of March. Chen Meng Wong is a free agent, and when he is healthy, when he is right, he's as good as any pitcher in the big leagues. During the stretch of back-to-back -back years, 2006, 2007, he had 19 wins in each of those two years pitching for New York. He is a sinker ball pitcher that can pitch with one pitch, a sinking fastball. He'll get ground ball after ground ball, and he's very difficult to lift the ball, to hit the ball out of the ballpark. He keeps the ball in the yard. Take a look at the defense for Chinese Taipei. Jung Dai Kong in the left. Lin Jun Shui in center and Chong Chen Min in right. Li Chi Xuan up the middle with Kuo Yen Wen, the double play combination. Chen Yong Ji at third. Pung Chong Ming is at first base and the catcher is Ling Kang Yong. This is a very good defensive team. They have good fundamentals and they're going to be on their toes with Chen Ming Wong throwing those ground balls tonight. You could hear the fans are already singing the Kakanaka chants. Each Japanese player has his own distinct song, a walk-off song 
if you would uh, call it in the States. And Chin Ming Wong delivers fastball, foul back, and we are underway. Japan and tiny, uh, Chinese Taipei. Takanaka, the 25 year old, left handed bats. Japan has six of them as regular players. Five of them are in the lineup against Chin Ming Wong. Boy, there's that late movement, catches the bottom of the strike zone at 88 miles an hour. And if you heard that roar, that slight roar, there are some significant fans here from Chinese Taipei. Boy, did they show a lot of enthusiasm in their opening round down at Taichung. The thing to watch for with Chen Ming Wong is how much movement he has and whether or not it's late sinking action because that's his trademark. Since 2008, when he injured himself running the bases during interleague play, he's been battling a variety of injuries, all related to that foot injury that he suffered running the bases. 0 oh, 2. To right, it's deep, and it's caught. Chan Chin Ming in right field holds it in. Takanaka got into one. There's one out. Chen Ming Wong acknowledging the good effort by Chong Chen Ming in right field. This ball was tattooed and it carries a long way in right. This is why Koji Yamamoto starts five left handed bats in this lineup. He needs somebody to get some extra base hit. As Rich mentioned, just one extra base hit in the three games in Fukuoka. Chen Meng Wong for his careers always had problems with lefty hitters. They've hit nearly 300 against him throughout his big league career. Boy, that looks like a real heavy sinker. Ibata, three for five in the tournament, and he's driven in a couple. Ibata's fourth hit of the tournament. Well, it's a ground ball, but it bounces right over the mound. And Chen Ming Wong, he's 6'4, but he can't stretch and knock this one down. Hits off the dirt in front of home plate and bounces off the artificial surface through the infield. So keep an eye on Chen Ming Wong and how effective he can keep that ball down. Seichi Uchikawa now. Uchikawa three for seven in the first round. Big lead. Runner goes. Ibata's running. He's out. Boy, it looked like the tag was late. Koji Yamamoto, the manager for Japan, with a puzzled look in the dugout. The throw was hot. Kuo Yen when the second baseman does a good job of getting the tag down quickly and there's the tag and it looked like he may have been safe the throw is high so there are two outs and it looks like Chinese Taipei got a break there's no question these games are very tight a lot of Close calls and a lot of tension. And as we saw in game one this afternoon, it takes the players a while to really settle into the excitement of this game. See, that last pitch was 91. Chen Ming Wong doesn't need to throw the ball that hard. He's better off when he's 88 to 90. When he gets above 90, that ball will flatten out and stay up in the zone and become very hittable. Shea Chong Hung. The manager of Chinese Taipei in the middle of that shot. And he's not only a manager, but he's a pitching coach as well. And he's a guy 
that seems to have straightened out Chin Ming Wong. This is the first time he's been around Chin Ming Wong. He said, I've seen him pitch before, but this is the first opportunity I've had to see him in person. Here's the 2 2 pitch. When he saw him, Buck, he said it wasn't anything mechanical. He said he sat him down and says, Look, your release point looks good. You got good sync. Don't nibble. Go after the hitters. And he sure did that against Australia. Six innings, no walks, four hits, no runs. Yeah, especially if that sinker's working, there's no reason to be fine and try to hit the corners. Well, the Japanese have barreled some balls up here. Yeah, and Chen Ming Wong is a little bit too high in the strike zone. He needs to get the ball down around the knees. That strike to ball sinker ball. It looks like a strike when it gets to the zone and then breaks down. Already two hits for Team Japan. Those numbers don't match with that hitter. Abe 0 for 8. The run he drove in was an enormous one. It was the go ahead and eventual winning run in the come from behind win against Brazil. We mentioned Chen Meng Wong and his struggles against lefty bats. For his career in the big leagues, left handed hitters have hit 296 against him compared to 259 for right handed bats. Abe hit two balls in Fukuoka that did not leave the yard. They would be out of this park. Runner goes, pitches a strike, the throw is on the money, safe. Boy, that was a beautiful throw by Lin Hung Yu, the catcher. Much better throw than the first one, and he threw out the first base dealer. This time it's right on the money, and it looks like the Base runner runs right into the glove, but the shortstop missed the tag. He did. He put the tag on the inside of the bag on the corner, and the foot on the slide was to the outside of the bag. You got to get in there and get out with the tag. Don't try to find his foot. Just give it that swipe tag, and more often than not, you'll get the call. Well, you can see that Lin Hung Yu has a really good arm. So one caught stealing, one stolen base. Japan certainly is aggressive here in the first. Abe's ground ball. And picked up with a tag. Chen Young Ji tagging the runner out. And the inning ends for Japan. They hit some balls hard, but nothing to show against Chin Ming Wong, and we are underway. In the Tokyo Dome, Japan scoreless, Chinese Taipei coming up. And their lineup, a lineup that went two and one in the first round, looks this way. Yang Dai Kang was the MVP of that first round. Lin Jiaxuan is in center field. Hung Chong Ming is at first base. Lin Shishen, the shortstop. Zhou Shichi, the designated hitter. Lin Hung Yu will do the catching. Chong Chen Ming in right field. Chen Yong Ji at third base. Kuo Yen Wen at second base. He will hit ninth against Atsushi Nomi, the stylish lefty. And a breaking ball for a strike. The 75 miles an hour. Nomi led the Central League with 172 strikeouts in 2012. He was tied with Tiyoshi Sugiuchi, who pitches for the Yomiuri Giants. He's also on Team Japan. Just an inning in relief in Fukuoka. He did not start in the first round. That man was the MVP of the first round in that wild start, Pool B in Taichung. Went over Australia. They beat the Netherlands convincingly, eight to three. And that's uh, impressive having watched the Netherlands take apart Cuba today. Boy, and they sure did. The Netherlands, in case you're just tuning in, beat Cuba 6 2 behind 14 hits and a terrific defense. They turned five double plays in the ballgame. Netherlands left 14 men on base, so it could have been worse than 6 2. 
There are 42,000 umpires in here tonight. Nomi misses with that inside fastball. Abe is a terrific catcher behind the plate and a great leader. He's a good game caller and a real general behind the plate. Now this guy, Young Dai Kong, knows what it's like playing here. Swings and misses. He's an all-star here in Japan for Nippon Ham. Young Dai Kang has played since 2007 in the Japanese League, and I asked him before the game through an interpreter about Nomi, and he characterized him as being a very difficult pitcher in that he throws a lot of different pitches. He just called him very difficult. He has a unique windup. Hides the ball well. And that makes 89 seem like it's in the low 90s. Lin Jashuen, the 24 year old, and a guy that got to the big leagues last year with the Boston Red Sox. Spent most of the year in AAA in Pawtucket. Great speed, great arm. One one. Rich, you mentioned that Sushi Nomi in his delivery. He hides that ball, and traditionally you're going to see the Japanese pitchers pause over the rubber. But Nomi, left hander, keeps that ball behind his body for a long time. It's difficult for hitters to pick up the release point. He's not very big. I mean, he's 5'11, 159 pounds. He didn't get a whole lot of run support last year. He had a career low 2.42 ERA and he was a 500 pitcher. He was 10 and 10. In the air down the right field line, Uchikawa is there and he reaches. He jumps over and in. I don't think he has the ball. Let's hope he's okay. For now, there's some concern as he is not getting up. And he had back problems. That's why he missed the final game in Fukuoka. What an effort by Uchikawa. Gets right to that retaining wall and then catapults right over it and lands on his back. And that was the injury that caused him to miss the final game against Cuba. And you can bet he's not going to come out of this game easily. He's swinging a hot bat and he wanted to play against Cuba. Koji Yamamoto. The manager with really nothing at stake decided to give him the night off. Lin Jashuen at the plate. The counts two and two. He was three for 12 in the first round. Jammed on a fastball. Inaba. Japan very good defensively. In the outfield from left to right, it's Sho Nakata Yoshi Itoi and Seichi Ichikawa is in right field. Hiyata Sakamoto plays shortstop for the Yomiuri Giants. He is back there in a position very comfortable to him here. Kazu Yabata is at second. Takashi Toritani is at third, and that's Sonori Inaba. He needs to get it going with the bat. He's at first. And the reigning MVP in the Central League, Shinosuke Abe, behind the plate. Hong Chong Ming. The 34 year old first baseman, he pops it up. Atsunori Naba again. One, two, three for Atsushi Nomi to the second. It's a scoreless ball game into the second. Japan is the visiting team tonight in batting order only. <laughs> second. Of uh, two here in Japan. Yoshio Itoi, Ayata Sakamoto, and Sho Nakata. Five, six, seven in the Japanese order. And Japan swung the bats well in the first inning. They hit some balls hard against Chin Ming Wong. Tim Ming Wong was up in the first inning, and that's why Japan hit him hard. And 
Oftentimes a sinker ball pitcher like Chen Ming Wong might be a little bit too hyped up in the first inning. Let's see if he can get that sinker down and get more action on that pitch. He's still flirting with danger upstairs. Told you that Wong will turn 33 at the end of March. His path to the big leagues was a, a really interesting one. He was not a very good little league player. He was not a very good high school player and not a real good college player at the start of his college career, but then he blossomed. A roller to first. Ping Chao Ming steps on the bag and gets the out. Earlier today, it was. Netherlands against powerhouse Cuba and Kurt Smith opened the scoring with a solo homer and it was game on for the Netherlands. Jonathan Scope, Charlotte Scope's younger brother, would hit a three run homer. He would have an enormous game. He drove in four of the six runs. And the Netherlands beats Cuba 6 2. And so the Netherlands will have a day off tomorrow. And they will play the winner of this game. The winner of that game is on its way to San Francisco. The loser tomorrow between Cuba and the loser of this game is out of the tournament. To center and deep. And caught. Lin Jai Xuan makes the catch. And there's the bracket with the Netherlands beating Cuba 6 to 2 and into game four. In 2009, Cuba was knocked out in the second round, and they're in danger of that tomorrow. They'll take on the loser of this game, and they swung the bats well, but heading into four ground ball double plays, and they had a fifth on a pop up. Crucial clutch pitching by the Netherlands all game long. Show Nakata. Here's what's impressive about the Netherlands to me. When you lined everybody up to start things, over on this side of the bracket, the top power teams, Cuba, Korea. And guess what? The Netherlands has taken them both down. It was Chinese Taipei that beat the Netherlands in Taichung. I think, too, the Home run by Kurt Smith really rocked Cuba on their heels and they never recovered. They were the ones that were supposed to do the damage with the long ball. Good sinker there and it's two and one. Chen Meng Wong is still battling to find his release point. He really hasn't gotten that sinker out in front of his body where it will really work down in that zone. The 2 1. And it's up and in. If you've been watching World Baseball Classic Baseball throughout the day, in the morning, and the evening, the difference between the games you've been watching in Phoenix and Puerto Rico and the games here in Japan, this is the second round. This is double elimination. It's not pool play like the other two. Those just starting in Phoenix and in Puerto Rico. Young Ji has it, fires across in time, and that looks a lot more like a Chin Ming Wong inning. A one, two, three second for Japan. Live shot above Tokyo, gorgeous shot, scoreless game. We'd like to thank MetLife's Blimp Snoopy One and its all star team of pilots, mechanical engineers, ground crew. They make today's spectacular aerial coverage of the 2013 World Baseball Classic possible. Rich Waltz along with Buck Martinez in the Tokyo Dome, 42,000. This is officially a sellout. Lin Shi Shen facing Sushi Nomi. Got Sushi Nomi with a fastball and another pop up. This is the third consecutive pop up to Atsunori Inaba. There is more than just a baseball game here. Almost two years ago, the country of Japan suffered a devastating earthquake and tsunami that followed. Taiwan, one of the first to offer aid, and a lot of it, and the citizens 
of Japan still remember that and there are a lot of those cards which say thank you Taiwan around here what what three days away from the anniversary. Yeah March 11th of 2011 they had that horrible earthquake and Chinese Taipei jumped to help their neighbors and the fans here certainly supportive. We heard it throughout the introductions when they introduced the Chinese Taipei players. They applauded and they certainly applauded after the Chinese Taipei Olympic anthem. Josie Chi up for Chinese Taipei and he takes a fastball outside. Many of these Chinese Taipei players play in the CPBL which is the Chinese Professional Baseball League. It's a 120 game season. It's not a big league in terms of number. There's only four teams in the league. And there are also some amateur teams that are of comparable stature in terms of talent that play. It's a, it's a sport that has had its ups and downs. Very successful at the Little League level. In fact, that man with his arms crossed, She Chong Hung, the manager, was a terrific Little League pitcher. Back in 1977, he started and won the championship game in the 13 to 14 year old division in Gary, Indiana, for Chinese Taipei. That's cool stuff. And it's fouled at the plate. And you want to go further in Little League World Series history, all the way going back down to the 11 and 12 year olds in Williamsport. Chinese Taipei has won 17 overall Little League World Series titles. Yeah, and they we can remember many, many Little League World Series where Chinese Taipei was playing in the finals, and they've always had very sound fundamentals and they always had very powerful pitching. Man, many people asked, well, why haven't that why hasn't that success at those young ages translated into a lot more players and it's just the fact that they haven't had that development after the little league and junior programs. I think physically too they haven't had the growth in their players a lot of them peak at a young age and it's not unusual we've seen a lot of players from the United States playing the little league world series and they'll peak right then and we'll never hear from them again. Josie Chi at the plate was the MVP of the CPBL. <laughs> Nomi gets him on an off speed pitch. Well the real strength of Team Japan is their pitching and they have starting pitching. There are only four relievers on this pitching staff out of the 13 man pitching staff. That's a screwball a little bit down and away might have been a split finger grip but it worked down and away from the left handed hitter. But they have a lot of good arms and as we mentioned just four relievers. So Koji Yamamoto has the ability to get multiple innings out of his relief core that normally work as starters. It's a bit of a surprise and I don't know that you'll see many teams getting into the second round and starting someone that didn't start in the first round. Which shows you the depth of starters. But I think also it shows that there was some concern especially with the ace of the Japanese staff Masahiro Tanaka who did not pitch well in his start but did pitch well in relief. Yeah Tanaka had six strikeouts and in two innings of relief and you can see the numbers from the first round pitching. Japan struck out 15 against China that tied a World Baseball Classic record for team strikeouts. But Nomi really looks sharp right now. And he's facing Lin Hung Yu. Well, he has to be awfully pleased that he got the nod to open up this round for Japan. Yeah, yeah. quite an honor for a guy that uh, was 10 and 10 last year. But as we noted, a really good ERA at 2.42 for Han Shin and was an all star. And he's not overpowering in terms of velocity, but he had 172 strikeouts last year, and that led the Central League. Well, and he had 37 walks. 
He throws it over and has good command of his second and third pitches. And just enough giddy up to get that ball past you. That one in the corner, Uchikawa trying to run it down. Good amount of Chinese Taipei fans have made their way to Tokyo for the second round. Netherlands has defeated Cuba, in case you didn't hear. I know it's an upset, but watching the Netherlands, that's a really good team. Base hit in the left field. Lin Hong Yu with a first hit for Chinese Taipei, a two out single to left. Hung Yu, the catcher, is able to pull one through the left side, and Lin Hung Yu gets that first base hit for Chinese Taipei, and that brings them to their feet in the dugout. Chang Ching Ming now, the right fielder. Ming a left handed bat. He's known for big hits in international play. And he was three for six with an RBI in the first round. Lefty on lefty and Nomi has shown the ability to get that breaking ball down and away to left handed hitters. I'm a little surprised and now the knob of the first baseman has moved off the back. Then Hun Yu is the catcher. He didn't run that well, and I'm not really wondering why they don't play behind him to give Inaba a little more range at first base. He's looking into the dugout as if he's thinking, hey, maybe I should be behind this guy. If he happens to get a ball pulled down that first base line, there's a big hole between Inaba and the second baseman. He about them. John Chen Ming. Right field or for Chinese Taipei. Abe so good behind the plate smothers it. Yeah Abe did not start the first game for Japan in pool A. He was dealing with a knee injury. He had injured his knee his right knee in the exhibition series leading up to the first round. But he told us in Fukuoka he's 100 percent feels good and he looks good moving behind the plate. 2 1 pitch. Nomi's fastball is fouled back and out of play. Well, we saw large crowds in Fukuoka, not sellouts. Here, it's a sellout. And this is a one admission day. There were over 8,600 that came into the Tokyo Dome to watch the first game. And many of them just stayed, watched batting practice while the rest arrived. Here's the 2 2. Line foul. All the games from here on out in Tokyo are 7 o'clock p.m. Tokyo starts. This place was really jam packed in between games. A lot of fans making their way into the stadium, and you certainly got the sense that it was like a playoff atmosphere as the fans are wearing their. Team Japan jerseys and really excited about the opportunity to watch the home team play. You know, there are differences between Chinese Taipei and Japan baseball in terms of style and in terms of the crowd. You know how loud it is and when wild it is when Japan is up. Well, now with Japan in the field, and not a whole lot of noise, at least there's not that choreographed singing and chanting. Yeah, they in, don't. in Tai Chung, it was loud on both ends when Chinese Taipei was up or when they were out in the field. Full count, runner on the move. And a ground ball up the middle. It's wide of first, and Sakamoto throws it away, and Chinese Taipei has runners first and second with two outs. Chong Chen Ming got down the line. Sakamoto, a very good shortstop. 
Nakamoto had to go a long way to his left and he really couldn't get himself turned around to get a lot on the throw and he pulls Inaba off the bag at first. You know in looking at the scoreboard they've given him a hit I would question that especially with a shortstop as good as Sakamoto. Yeah and Naba was standing on the bag waiting for the throw they had plenty of time to get the batter runner but the throw was simply offline I agree with you Rich I think that was a throwing error on the shortstop. Cheng Young Ji. Third baseman number eight hitter. And a fastball up and now Nomi is pushed here with two outs giving up a pair of hits. Thirty two year old at the plate. This is a guy that signed with Seattle and played in the futures game. And that prospect showcase held before the all star game that was back in two thousand and six. Boy, everybody called timeout about the same time. The knob of the first baseman called time. He made his way over to the mound, and Shinosuke Abe, and now third baseman's coming, and everybody wants to have a little conference to try to help Nomi settle down here. All of a sudden, he's run into a wall. A couple of hits this inning. I mean, he was locked in in the first inning. Carried that right in, retired the first five of the game, and now a couple of hits. And you know, he seemed to be stretching after everybody left, almost flexing a, a quad or a hip. Two-o pitch coming to Chen Young Ji. Whatever they told him it worked because he finds the strike zone right at the bottom of the strike zone. Chris Guccione is behind the plate in this game. Those are the Chinese Taipei fans that are chanting right now. They are down the third base line. They brought a lot of the red flags with them. There they are. There's a big moment here. Nomi just sliced and diced his way through the first five hitters. But a couple of hits and a 3 1 count on the Chinese Taipei third baseman, Chen Young Ji. Known more for his defense than his bat. To center, Itoi makes it. And Nomi is out of the seconds. We played two, and we're scoreless. Scoreless ball game. It's the third, Japan and Chinese Taipei. And now, this has been our favorite at bat while we've been over in Japan. Altenori Inaba, the veteran. The Inaba shake. And man, are they going out in right field. And Nava stands in. They're trying to get the first baseman going. And you can see the chance. They're excited to support Inaba. He's been scuffling at the plate. Getting down in the order. Inaba is 40. They started the shake in Sapporo back in 2007. And he's still going strong at 40. Hit 290 last year. Over 2,000 career hits. And in Japan, that is seen as a milestone, much like 3,000 is in the major leagues because they play a shorter schedule. Sapporo, in the northern part of Japan, is the home of the Nippon Ham Fighters. And that's his regular team. We asked him about the Nava Shake. He said it began in 2007. The fans really got behind him. And he loves the support and he is acknowledged. He's a superstar over here in Japan. We talked to him about his stroke. He said, I feel good, but I'm not getting many results and I need some results. A very short tournament. You've got to deliver a few key hits. 
two and two. And now in the eighth spot, leading it off, Chin Ming Wong on the mound. A shaky first in which he gave up a couple of hits, but not a run, but a one, two, three second. Two, two. Sinker dives in, and it's three and two. For an, what I remember about Chin Meng Wong when he was pitching for the Yankees, I don't think he was as deliberate as he is right now. I think he had a little more rhythm and movement in his delivery. Pulled foul. Chin Meng Wong, the last two years, has pitched for the Washington Nationals. Last year, he had a collision with Russell Martin and he injured a hamstring. Later in the season, he had a hip injury. Early in his career, and then it flared up again midway in his career, he had right shoulder issues. 3 2 to Atsunori in Naba. They'll be shaken now. In Naba around first with a single. Sharply hit ground ball. It sneaks past the second baseman. And Naba needed that hit. And it starts the third inning for Japan. Pretty good movement. Still not down where Chen Ming Wong really wants to be. He's got a pitch to the bottom of the strike zone and lower to be most effective. Takahashi Toritani getting the start at third base. Koji Yamamoto trying to get all the left handed bats in. He could. And. Trying to get a run here, and Toritani trying to bunt, fouls it off. The count's 0 and 1. Let me tell you one thing a good sinking fastball is not an easy pitch to bunt. You might be better off to play hit and run. Start the runner at first, let the hitter swing, get the ball on the ground, and you might be able to go first and third, at least possibly stay out of a double play. But this is a tough pitch to bunt. A lot of late movement, and oftentimes you'll foul it off right at home plate. Toritani's bunt is a good one. Wong to first. And Japan is a runner in scoring position, and they've got the top of the order up now. Tatsuya Kakanaka and Hirokazu Ibata. We have seen throughout the early stage of this tournament, Koji Yamamoto will use the bunt. In fact, he had his cleanup hitter bunt earlier in this tournament. Kanaka also in there as a left handed bat. He had just two previous at bats in the classic. This is the second round, double elimination, which makes the first day of utmost importance. Just ask Cuba, who, if they lose tomorrow, are going home. Just ask the Netherlands, who won today. And if they win in two days, they're headed to San Francisco. In fact, they've got two opportunities to win and go to San Francisco. Ground ball out to short. Stumbling is Chi Shin. He throws him out at first. Chi Chi Shin, the shortstop. I think he had thoughts of going to third base, but once he stumbled, he had to make sure he got an out. The Naba broke for third on the ground ball. Chen Ming Wong was kind of indicating, hey, you got a shot at third, but once the shortstop stumbled, he had to make sure he got the out at first. Now Ibata. This is game four for Japan in the World Baseball Classic. All told, Japan has 23 hits, 22 of them. Singles. A double, the only extra base hit, and that was in Fukuoka. Ibata takes a strike. Ibata had a big pinch hit single in the first game against Brazil. It came in the eighth inning with Japan down three to two. He got an inside pitch and fought it off through the hole on the right side. That being said, you can see where Chinese Taipei is playing him. 
they are bunched on the right side of the infield. Ibate is a strict inside out hitter and will hit a lot of balls into right field. High chopper. This is trouble. Got him by a step. Wow. Chen Young G with a rocket across the diamond. And we are still scoreless. Scoreless ball game. Bottom of the third. And a full house here in Japan. World Baseball Classic action continues. Canada against Italy, Spain against Puerto Rico, Mexico against USA. Check your local listings for the exact time in your region. Here in Tokyo, it's 8 o'clock in the evening. A noon start for the first game with the Netherlands taking down Cuba. And a 7 o'clock start here, Chinese Taipei and Japan scoreless. Cool play beginning in Puerto Rico where the Dominicans dominated Venezuela. Drive the right center off the bat of Sech and it's off the wall. Extra bases with a head first slide. Kuo Yen Wong. The second baseman for Chinese Taipei. And After having that trouble, ball was drilled. Right, sure was, Rich, and they figured out. Nomi gave up two hits in the second inning, a leadoff double right to the base of the wall in deep right center, and all of a sudden, bottom of this lineup has figured out Nomi. Three of the last four hitters have hits. Now let's see if Chinese Taipei can get them over and get them in. Yang Dae Kong, the leadoff man, the MVP of the first round, who struck out back in the first. The manager for Chinese Taipei, Shea Chung Hong, told us that they don't necessarily play station to station baseball. He said, We like power. We like to let our guys swing the bat. So let's see what they do with their leadoff man, Yang Dae Kong. Yeah, the Japanese introduced baseball. In Taiwan. And so there is a certainly some influence there. But we talked about the differences between Japan and Chinese Taipei. You've got more hitters that pull the ball, that try to spin on a ball. A little more power for Chinese Taipei. And you're right. Shea Chong Hong told us there's a an influence of Major League Baseball at Chinese Taipei. They watch an awful lot of Major League Baseball and it's it's really the best he says of both Japan and the United States. And right now he shows bunt on the first pitch. You just wonder if that's not in an effort to get Jong Dai Kong a good pitch to hit. He was the MVP for Pool B. Yeah, he had four RBIs had a home run. Infield still looking bunt. And Nomi, who was brilliant in the first and retired the first five, striking out two, and has hit a bump here in the third. Well, managers in this round, the second round, managers like Koji Yamamoto, can ill afford to wait around. You can't have too much patience with your pitcher you sense that he has lost it you got to make a move quickly two old pitch still bunny and still missing is no me to your point Japan has a pair of arms getting loose Tadashi Setsu and Toyoshi Sugiuchi Sugiuchi, a starter for the Yomiuri Giants, and we mentioned that a lot of the pitchers that we'll see tonight work normally as starters for Japan. Three and zero. Oh. Oh. 
He's taking and it's a strike. Back to bunting on three and one. Well I don't know I would let this guy swing away it's still early in the ball game and I know we have seen the trend in this tournament playing for one run. But you got a guy that's coming off a good round swinging the bat with a lot of confidence I'd let him take a hack here three and one. Quo Yen Wen is out at second. Yang Dai Kong at the plate. Three one coming he's bunting. Drops it down. Abe picks it up. It's fair. And he throws him out at first. And so Chinese Taipei pushes the runner to third. And that shows you how tight both these managers are going to play this game. This ball stays right on the foul line. And Abe comes out behind home plate, takes a look at second base once he picks it up. And it goes for the out at first. And now the Runners at third with just one out. Infield's coming in. Lin Jashwen, the center fielder. He popped to first. And that's when Nomi started a run of, of really being overpowering. He got three consecutive hitters to pop out to first base. Schwen was three for 12 in the first round. Nomi stays in. 47 pitches for Atsushi Nomi. I think a lot of people thought it, Masahiro Tanaka would definitely be the guy to start this game, but that was before Fukuoka. That was before he struggled. I think, too, what Yamamoto was thinking is that. Tanaka looks like he sorted himself out. The two more powerful lineups in this pool are Cuba and the Netherlands. And I don't think he's taking Chinese Taipei lightly, but I think he likes the way Tanaka pitched in relief with six strikeouts in two innings. And he might be the guy that can neutralize those potent bats of the other two teams. 2 0 pitch in the dirt. Well, I don't think he's pitching around Schwen because Peng Chang Min, who's on deck, is one of the more powerful Chinese Taipei hitters. He homered in the opening round. And you got to know Japan watched the first game and probably was in awe of what the Netherlands did because Cuba handled Japan quite handily in Fukuoka. Three zero breaking ball. That's how much he's struggling with his fastball. Yeah, and he is not a power pitcher by any means, but he's not going to give in to the hitter in this situation. I believe that this is going to be his last hitter. I think the right-handed guy on deck should this hitter get on, or even if he makes it out, Yamamoto might go to the bullpen. He's got Setsu ready, the right-hander in the bullpen. One out. Yen Wen is at third, and a fastball up. Chinese Taipei now with runners at the corners. Koji Yamamoto, a great player, is going to send his pitching coach out. A lot of discussion going on in the Japanese dugout. Pitching coach is out to talk the situation over, and now Abe wants to know what to do should they. Try a first and third steal play. Abe was looking back in the dugout, said, "What coverage do you want here? Do you want us to throw through? Do you want us to fake a throw? First and third, one out. A lot of possibilities here that Yamamoto has to deal with. First and foremost, he's decided to stick with the left hand. Here's where it's going to be important for Shinosuke Abe to lean heavily on his experience. This is a power hitter, Peng Jong Ming, and you don't want to give him a cookie on the first pitch. Infield is back for two. Schwen is at first. Yen Wen is at third. And Nomi to the plate. And he misses in. 
Yeah, Abby knew that you got the number three hitter there. You don't want to come hard charging with a fastball. He tried to get him to chase. Maybe Kyung Chong Ming was a little bit over anxious, but he didn't show it at all. Hong Chung Ming drove into Homer in the first round. He popped out to first in his only at bat. Nobody to the plate. Runner goes late break. Abe's throw. Runner stops and gets back to first. You just wonder if that might have been a hit and run the way the runner at first broke. He was late breaking and that's generally a tip off that it is a hit and run. It wasn't a straight steel break by any means and once he saw the batter didn't offer it to pitch he scrambled back to first. Shea Chong Hung Chinese Taipei manager. Well, counts two and a great hitters count. For a powerful guy. Five time batting champ. In the Chinese professional baseball league. Oh hit him. It sounded like it hit the pad on the left elbow and Nomi is absolutely falling apart here. Well he sure is as you mentioned he retired the first five he faced and then back to back singles in the second he was able to get around that. But now he has loaded the bases he walked the number two hitter and now he hits the number three hitter. And puts himself in a big jam here. Boy, and he, he went right through the first five hitters. But the last seven hitters have been a mess. A pair of singles, a double, a walk, a hit batter, and of course the sacrifice bunt. Interesting approach by Koji Yamamoto, totally different than that we have seen from Victor Mesa, the Cuban manager. Mesa was running pitchers in and out in the situation, but Yamamoto showing confidence in Atsushi Nomi, trying to see if he can't coax a ground ball out of the cleanup hitter. Still only one out and a great opportunity for Chinese Taipei to get on the board first. Lin Chi Shen, he popped a first to lead off the second. Nomi having trouble finding the plate. Off speed pitch and he misses. It's one and oh. Remember when all of his teammates in the infield at the same moment came into the mound to talk to Nomi he was flexing what looked like his left leg after they left. And you wonder if he's tweaked something. One oh pitch. Ji Shen takes down low and it's two and oh because ever since that point buck he has been all over the place and he was pinpoint the first five hitters. Well, I mean, he certainly doesn't look like anything physically is bothering him. He just has lost the strikes on him. The pitching coach has been out there but there you go again he's stretching out as if something might be tight but physically watching him through his delivery it doesn't look like he's favoring anything. They're checking in the bullpen now to see the status of those two pitchers warming up. 2 0 pitch coming to Lin Chi Shen. Bags loaded, one out, scoreless. High pop up. And this is a big out for Nomi. If Inaba can gather it in, he does. Wow, a 2 0 pitch and a pop up. The second time that Lin Chi Chin has popped out to Inaba. Koji Yamamoto showing the ultimate confidence in his left handed pitcher leaving him in a ball game scoreless game with the bases loaded and the cleanup hitter at the plate. But Lee Chi Shin pops it up. Josie Chi. The hitter and the reward that. Yamamoto gets is he gets a, a lefty on lefty matchup as that sushi Nomi tries to get out of this third inning jam bases loaded two outs now he struck out Josie Chi in the second 
He struck out on an off speed pitch. No, he did not start in game or in round one, but he gets the game one assignment here in round two. Well, one thing I like from Shinosuke Abe, the veteran catcher, is he hasn't really fallen into any patterns. He's mixed up the pitches consistently. Even though Nomi has struggled with his command, and now he's going to take a visit to the mound. Nomi has fallen behind, and he's got a little smile on his face. That's got to be comforting for a pitcher that's struggling. He got a reigning MVP, a nine time All Star coming out the mound and say, Hey, would you lighten up a little bit? This isn't that tough a situation. You can get out of it. As you mentioned, that's in stark contrast to watching Victor Mesa go through his histrionics. In the Cuban dugout. Now. So let's see if Abe settled Nomi down. This should be a pretty good pitch to hit for Joe Sichi. 2 0 is down low and it's 3 0. Well, remember, Nomi fell behind Lin Shi Shen, came back. And got a pop up. Now he's 3 and 0 with no place to put Joe Sitchi. That's a strike. Chi. Hey. The most valuable player in the CPBL 21 homers 91 driven in and a 365 average last year. The Nomi chant starts. That is out and Chinese Taipei has a run. One nothing. Seem to be some confusion. With the runner coming from third, he wasn't quite sure if that was ball four. Chris Guccione said, Yeah, that's ball four, and it's the first run of the ball game. A bases loaded walk. A little with two outs. A little tough to hear in here. And I think Koji Yamamoto may have seen enough. And he is making a pitching change. Chinese Taipei has the first run tonight in Tokyo. Tadashi Setsu comes out of the bullpen. Setsu pitched in game one of the Pool A for Japan. He pitched against Brazil and threw very well. Three innings, two hits, allowed a run. It was an unearned run, didn't walk a batter, and struck out four. So at Sushi, Nomi certainly. Had an opportunity to pitch out of it, and you've got to applaud Koji Yamamoto. It'll be interesting to see how the fans feel about the patience of Yamamoto leaving him in that situation. And Nomi eventually issued the walk with two outs and the bases loaded to give Chinese Taipei a one nothing lead. And Setsu doesn't have a whole lot of time to get comfortable because the bags are loaded. There are two outs. And so Nomi can only watch and hope that Setsu can get out of an inning, which included a pair of walks, a hit batter, a double, and a sacrifice bunt. Lin Hung Yu, who singled in the second. You see Chris Guccione, the home plate umpire. Trevor Grieve out of Canada, umpiring at first. Jerry Davis at second. Felix. Tejada. Umpire at third. Setsu from the stretch. First pitch breaking ball. Hit foul. And Lin Hung Yu wasn't surprised. He went after it. Yeah. Base is loading the situation, trying to kick the door in right here. Setsu pitches for the Softbank Hawks. Play at Fukuoka. 
And he is the reigning Sawamura Award winner, 2012, the equivalent of the Cy Young Award. He led the league with 17 wins and also led the league in win percentage at 17 and 5. Misses with a 90 mile an hour fastball. Tokyo Dome feels a lot warmer than it did at noon with 42,000 plus in here. This place is heated up. Major League fans will uh, liken it to the Metrodome with the Teflon roof. Without the big baggie in right field. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's down low. And it's 2-1. And, and today in the Netherlands-Cuba game, the ball was really jumping, much like the Metrodome. Four home runs in that ball game this afternoon. Netherlands hit two as Cuba hit two. Alfredo de Spain and Yulieski Gurriel both homered for Cuba, but much too little too late for the Cubans as they have played themselves into the loser's bracket of this pool. Lin Hung Yu with the bases loaded. The 2 1. That's out. And you got the Sawamura Award winner on the mound, and he can't throw strikes right now. He's fallen behind three and one. Nomi, the strikeout leader last year in the Central League, pulled here in the third. Setsu, the only pitch he threw for a strike in this at bat was a breaking ball. Let's see if he comes back with it. Hung Yu takes that fastball for a strike. We mentioned it. Japan has only four relievers on their pitching staff. Setsu, when he worked in the first round, started the inning. This is a different scenario for a starting pitcher to come into a ball game, bases loaded, and two outs. Osamu well, Higashio, the pitching coach for Japan, with a look of concern. Full count, runners on the move. Bags are loaded. Lin Hung Yu waits and the pitch. Got him. Sets it with a strikeout. He leaves him loaded, but Chinese Taipei has the lead. Chinese Taipei has the first run of this ball game and a one nothing lead into the fourth we go. Our game summary. First hitter of the game at Suya Kakanaka. To the wall against Chin Ming Wong, but Wong would settle down. He gets some good defense as well. A terrific play by his third baseman, Chen Yong Ji. And wildness. That was the problem for Sushi Nomi. A bases loaded walk in the third inning. And so it's 1 0. There's your game summary. Chin Ming Wong on the mound for Chinese Taipei, and he misses up. Something he's been able to correct since a messy first inning. Since then, lots of ground balls. Five of the last six outs have been on the ground for Chen Ming Wong, and that's what he needs to be effective tonight. Ground ball outs. Two and zero oh, as he works on Seichi Uchikawa. Uchikawa's a good hitter. We have seen him throughout play here in Japan. He has good plate coverage. He'll hit the ball foul line to foul line. In the air, it's not easy to see pop ups and fly balls, though much easier here at night than it was this afternoon. There's your game summary. Nomi's line two walks, two strikeouts. Chin Ming Wong has given up three hits, but not a run. Chinese Taipei who didn't tear the cover off the ball in advancing they hit 274 six doubles two homers and Tai Chung remember Chinese Taipei had the same record as the Netherlands the Chinese Taipei losing to Korea three to two beat the Netherlands eight to three. One thing to remember in this one nothing game is that Japan is the visiting team even though they are playing in their home ballpark because they came out as runner ups in pool A. Here is Abe now and the all star MVP catcher takes a strike 
Abe in the tournament is 0 for 9. Yeah, this is a real challenge for teams like Japan, even Chinese Taipei, teams that play in the summer. This is still spring training. We have seen it with Team USA in the first two World Baseball Classics where their big stars have trouble really getting their timing down with limited at bats going into the World Baseball Classic. You know, the team that you would think would have the advantage then would be Cuba whose professional season goes from November through April and yet Cuba is on the bottom end of this double elimination week having lost six to two earlier today to the Netherlands two two that is strike three call Guccione rings up Abe who is trying to lean out of the way of Ching Ming Wong's fastball. It's the first strikeout for Chen Ming Wong and watch the late movement it really fools Abe. And that's that pitch that Greg Maddox brought into vogue especially to left handed hitters that pitch inside that gets in the back up and it runs back over on the inside corner. Abe a very good hitter remember it to 340 last year in the regular season fooled by that sinking fastball. Here is Itoy. Uh, Masahiro Tanaka, a quality starter, is up. Toshia Sugiuchi, the lefty. 1 0. Hitoi bounced to first back in the second. That one is smoked into the corner. It's a fair ball. Chan Ching Ming picks it up. And Hitoi. Now has both extra base hits for Japan, and this is game four for Japan. His second double. His other double was a three run double in the fifth against China, and this is a shot down the right field line. Itori has a good look at it as he heads for first base and gets himself a big two out double. Sakamoto now the shortstop and he fouls it back Sakamoto he's still looking to get going he's one for 13 with three strikeouts he's one of three position players from the Yomiuri Giants on this team and you can hear the crowd out in right field chanting Sakamoto's name encouraging him to deliver a big hit. Toy at second. Up the middle. Knocked down. Runner just gets back to third. Boy, a terrific play up the middle to save a run. Lin Chi Shin, the shortstop, and Kuo Yen Wen, the second baseman. Kuo Yen Wen does a heck of a job. This is a shot. Looks like it's headed to center. Off the glove of Chen Ming Wong. The shortstop gets a piece of it. And watch third base coach right there. What a job of coaching by the third base coach. He was waving E Toy around. And once he saw the second baseman get the ball, he stopped the runner immediately. Heads up base running. Great coaching at third base. That's Nobuhiro Takashiro. He's fortunate. He made a great play as a third base coach. He's fortunate that the runner didn't run him over and make contact with him. And Barry Weinberg, who's the trainer, longtime major league trainer for the Athletics and for the Cardinals, is the Chinese Taipei trainer, gets a little fist bump, and everybody's okay. Li Chi Xuan, the shortstop, he wants to throw a ball just to make sure he's okay. He might have jammed his hand as he dove that ball and he says OK I'm good Threw a ball that's himself fit to continue nobody's going to leave this game no this uh, if Chinese Taipei wins this ball game 
this would be maybe the biggest win in their international history to beat Japan a team loaded with all stars from the Japanese League. East Taipei did take a silver medal in Barcelona. But you win in the Tokyo Dome and beat Japan, that's something. Ball in the dirt, smothered. Both runners hold. Sho Nakata is the batter. Lin Hung Yu, the catcher, does a good job. When you call a pitch from Chen Ming Wong, the one place you're going to get beat is in the dirt. He throws that sinking fastball, and as a catcher, you have to anticipate something low in the dirt. Really stay light on your feet and thinking about saving that run down at third base. Lin Hung Yu's been impressive. He's made two strong throws to second. Runner, big lead, and is running from first. Ground ball up the middle. Stop there. She shinned to first. He got him. Lin Shi Shin. I guess the hand is okay. Because the play was terrific. So one nothing game. <laughs> lots of anxiety, lots of drama, lots of energy, and lots of effort. Watch this play by Lin Shi Shin. Middle infield saved the run this inning and kept it a one nothing ball game, much to the disappointment of the home crowd here at the two kids Tokyo Dome. A couple of good plays up the middle. Short stop. Lee Chi Schwinn and second baseman Ku Yin Wen really doing a good job keeping the ball on the infield and saving a run with two outs. Well, remember when Shin got his glove on the ball to keep the runner at third. Now Chinese Taipei, Chong Chen Ming fouls it off. Here's a look at, at the play off the bat. Lee Chi Shin, the shortstop, stays with it and quickly fires in plenty of time at first base to end the inning. Show Nakata with a head first slide. Well, he had every reason to panic there. 42,000, a runner at third. He had knocked the ball down. He had his back to first base. That's the old axiom be quick, but don't be in a hurry. And he had a problem with his throwing hand on the previous play. He made one throw, making sure he was okay. And sure enough, that throwing arm got him out of a tough spot. Though I'm not sure that uh, John Wooden has ever been to Japan. He was the one that used to preach that. It's kind of become universal in all sports now. Breaking ball and Chang Chen Ming fouls it off. Chang Chen Ming with an infield hit. Chinese Taipei got the run in the third. A bases loaded walk to their designated hitter, Joe Sichi. And that was Atsumi Nomi. This is Tadashi Setsu. One of the top starters in Japanese baseball. And he dials up a fastball for a strikeout. Two strikeouts, and he got himself out of a tough jam, stranded the bases loaded, striking out the first batter he faces. And here in the bottom of the fourth, a leadoff strikeout, and Setsu has the ability. He mentioned the reigning Sabomura Award winner here in Japan. He's a starter who had to pitch out of a tough situation, two outs and the bases loaded. And you can see the batter, Chong Chen Ming, talking to his teammates about what he saw from Setsu. Chen Youngji flying to center back in the seconds. That history of baseball in Chinese Taipei is really a fascinating one. They had that great Little League run from 69 to 81 where they won 10 Little League World Series titles. They had two professional leagues in 1999, but they were hurt 
by a, a huge earthquake and then a gambling scandal. They revived the, the World Cup team in 2001. That got things stirred up. And the leagues reformed in 2003. But then another gambling scandal in 2009. Setsu has struck out all three that he's faced. Well, he's done a good job of coming into this ball game and locating his fastball. That's what gets Chen Young Ji. Three strikeouts in a row for Setsu. The fastball is quality. It'll get into the lower 90s, and he's got a wide assortment of breaking pitches. We've seen him change speeds with a good curveball. Late breaking slider, uh, splitter, and the changeup. Off speed pitch. That one is rolled to Inaba, who steps on the bag. Tadashi Setsu is just what Team Japan has needed. Still 1 0 Chinese Taipei. 1 0 ballgame. Chinese Taipei on top, top of the fifth in the Tokyo Dome, which is filled. 42,000 plus here. I'd like to thank all those that have up in the MetLife blimp who have been flying around, giving us the great pictures of downtown Tokyo and the Tokyo Dome. If you've been watching games from Japan, you know that that song means Atsunori and Naba is up. High chopper over the first baseman. Yen Win throws the first, and Inaba is safe. A couple of hits for the 40-year-old first baseman. He went one for nine in the first round and starting to swing the bat a little bit. Uh, he won't brag about this hit, but he'll take it. A bouncing ball that goes over the first baseman. The throw from the second baseman, Bo Yen Win, is wide of the mark. Had he led the pitcher Chen Ming Wong and thrown it over the bag, they had a chance to get Inaba. This is the fifth inning, and Chen Ming Wong is comfortably at 56 pitches. His pitch count is 80. At this pace, they could get seven innings out of him. Yeah, he threw 61 pitches in his first start. That spanned six innings. And he's always been very efficient, so his pitch count's in good shape. Tortani squares and takes outside. Tortani had a sack bunt back in the third after Anaba had singled. So Koji Yamamoto is asking him to deliver again. It's a one run ball game, and Team Japan has shown that they'll man manufacture a run. Looks like Tortani's not really sure about the sign. He wants the third base coach to go through the signals again. Oritani is 0 for 4 in the classic. And Naba has a big lead at first. And he's running, hit and run, and it's fouled at the plate. You got a 40 year old on the move there. Well, and that's why Toritani wanted to check the signs. He got bumped on the first pitch and then got hit and run. He wasn't really sure. Naba got a good break at first base. Good man to run against Chen Ming Wong. He gets a lot of ground balls, and you start that runner hoping to stay out of an inning of double play. We visited with Inaba the other day and asked him how he stays so young at 40. There's a bunt, and it's a good one. Chen Ming Wong goes to first in time. And Toritani with the sacrifice. Up to the top of the order, Katsuya Takanaka. Now, with the names for the Chinese Taipei, the family name is up front, except with Chin Ming Wong, because over the United States, he's known as Chin Ming Wong. Peng Chi Kuo, like that as well. Everybody else, 
we endeavor to be as close as we can to accurate roller to second and a quick release by Yen Wen gets Kakanaka and Naba now inhabits third base Japan has a chance to tie it but they've got two outs and Hiro Kazu Ibata is up. Uh, Chen Meng Wong has done a better job of getting that sinking fastball working for him early in the ball game. He was up a little bit too much. You see double barrel action for Chinese Taipei. Remember the bullpens are out of sight of the crowd here. They are behind the respective dugouts. Che Chong Hong, the manager, knows that. Chen Meng Wong is nearing the end of the line. His pitch count is good, but they got some fresh arms down in that bullpen, and it's top of the fifth. Ibata, a good contact hitter. He's bunting, and did he get it while he was out of the box? It hit him as he was moving up the line. Chris Guccione immediately signaled foul ball. The catcher, Lin Hung Yu, turns immediately to the umpire and said, hey, that ball hit him, but you can see it hit him while he was still in the batter's box. Even the third baseman coming down saying hey he was out of the batter's box but clearly that ball bounced directly up and hit the bottom before he left the batter's box. Had he been out of the batter's box and that fair ball hit him he would have been out. You can hear the crowd in full throat right now with the Ibata chant. From foul pole to foul pole, they are standing. The band is out there in the outfield. Things are a little calmer around behind the plate. There's that running fastball. Two seam fastball, that comeback fastball that starts off the plate, and Chen Meng Wong can create such movement that it'll move six to eight inches, and it will cut the outside corner. That's Inori and Naba is at third base. Chen Meng Wong nursing a one nothing lead, one two pitch. Oh, he buried a two seamer. That one had a little too much run on it. Movement and Chen Ming Wong thinks he had thrown strike three. He's headed for the dugout, but Chris Guccione didn't like the pitch. He called it a ball. It's not two and two. Ibata has been one of Japan's best hitters in the classic. Four for seven. Boy, that's a better sinker right there. Basically, when you see a sinker ball pitcher and you can see the run, it's along the plane of the bat. This is a much better sinker that goes straight down. That's the one Chen Meng Wong featured when he was in his heyday with the Yankees. He would like to have another heyday. In fact, he'd like to have another payday. He is a free agent, and this is a tremendous opportunity for an audition for big league clubs. 2 2 pitch. One thing that Chen Meng Wong has never had is a very good breaking ball. This would be the time to use a slider. 3 2 count, two outs, but he hasn't been able to master that good breaking ball. Xie Chong Hong, his manager, a good pitcher himself. 3 2 coming, and Naba's at third. Oh, man, that one just missed. And Ibata has walked. Japan at the corners now. And you get into a little pop with Seichi Uchikawa. Now they're going to have a little conference with Chen Meng Wong. The catcher is up, first baseman is over. Two down. Seichi Uchikawa, the right fielder, has been a consistent hitter throughout this tournament. And he's going to get a chance right here with two outs. Base hit in his first at bat. He popped up in the fourth. To show you how sharp Chin Ming Wong has been in this classic, this is his 11th inning of work, and that's his first walk. He's 
got a tough customer in Uchikawa. Uchikawa hit 429. He was three for seven. He missed the final game, played in the first two games in the first round. And that was with a sore back. And remember earlier in the game, he went flying over the wall in foul territory. Chopper to third. In time, Chen Young Ji, the Chinese Taipei infield, has made all the plays behind Chen Ming Wong. And Japan still scoreless in their five innings. One nothing Chinese Taipei on top of Japan. WorldBaseballClassic.com. Go there now. Video highlights, online shopping, jerseys, caps, collectible items of your favorite team. WorldBaseballClassic.com. Accessible on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Huge kiosks out in front of the Tokyo Dome with all the World Baseball Classic gear, fans snapping them up. Caps, jerseys, shirts from all the teams here. Yang Dai Kang has struck out, has a sacrifice bunt. And Kong swings and fouls it back to the screen. It's 0 and 2. Good crowd on hand, and this is a country that loves baseball. Good support. We saw it in Fukuoka. We're going to see it throughout this pool here in Tokyo. And right now they are thrilled with the pitching of Tadashi Setsu. He's done a terrific job in stabilizing the game since he's entered the ball game. Three strikeouts and he came into the game with the bases loaded and two outs in the third inning and got the strikeout to end the inning. Yeah, Setsu taking over at Atsushi Nomi, the left handed starter. Nomi did not start a game in the three games in Fukuoka, which is, is rare that you would have a, a guy start round two that didn't start in. Round one. 2-2 Two -two pitch. That one got in on him. And Dai Kong, who was the MVP in round one at Tai Chung, is out number one. Yeah, he had a home run in that first round, and this one tied him up. He never really got his arms extended, and it was just a lazy fly ball to the left. Lin Jiaxuan. Xuan walked in the third, popped out in the first. Setsu buries a strike. Setsu has a good fastball. World Baseball Classic last 24 hours. Italy's big comeback to stun Mexico. The Dominicans dominating Venezuela. The Netherlands beating Cuba at their own game. Liner down the right field line. That's a fair ball and into the corner it goes. Lin Jiaxuan rounding first into second with a double. Second double of the night for Chinese Taipei and they finally get to Setsu. Beautiful piece of hitting by Lin Josh Wen. This ball is down and away and he stays on it. That's unusual for Chinese Taipei. They're more pull hitters but he recognized that Setsu is not going to give you much to pull. He stays on it and drives it down into the right field corner. A one out double. Hong Chung Ming now. He's the number three hitter, the first baseman. He's popped out, been hit by a pitch. When the World Baseball Classic started, did you see the Japan bullpen? Over on this side of the bracket, Korea, a power. They've had such great success in the first two classics. Japan, of course, 
won the first two classics. Cuba always a factor. And yet Korea didn't get out of the first round. Cuba who looked unbeatable in Fukuoka beaten today by the Netherlands and here is Japan who had trouble scoring runs in Fukuoka went two and one and they're down one nothing to Chinese Taipei see the conversation going on in the dugout for Japan talking about their next move as far as the pitching goes the pitch to Pung swing and a miss breaking ball from Setsu. There's no shortage of arms, no shortage of quality arms. And as Buck has pointed out, Japan went heavy on starters when they made up their team. Sugiuchi, the left-hander, he's been warming up for the last couple of innings, and he's a starter. Morfuku also pitching, also a left-hander. Morifuku is one of the four relief pitchers on this pitching staff. They have 13 pitchers on their staff, just four relievers. And Morifuku had 17 saves last year for the SoftBank Hawks. Three-one pitch. In a situation like this, when you've got a starter in the game and you're thinking about your next move, you might be more comfortable bringing in a reliever with runners on base as opposed to a starter. Setsu came into the ball game with the bases loaded in two outs. He was able to get out of it, but it was a 3-2 pitch where he racked up the strikeout. Yeah, he fell behind in that at bat with the bases loaded. 3-2 coming here. Feng Cheng Ming fouls it back. This is the part of the order that Japan has handled. The three through five hitters. Lin Chi Shen, the cleanup hitters, popped to first twice, and he is on deck. The bottom four hitters in the lineup have three of the four hits for Chinese Taipei. Little liner into left center, and it falls for a hit. Jashuan coming in. He's going to score. Hung Chang Ming makes it 2 0. For a second time tonight, Chinese Taipei taking advantage of a double. They've cashed both of their doubles in tonight. And this time it's the number three hitter, Peng Chong Ming, who delivers. A little blooper into center field, but that's enough to chase home Lin Jashuen from second base. Chinese Taipei is like a college team right now. I mean, everything is emotional. This is new territory for them. Into the second round, playing here in Japan in front of 42,000. And that tells it all. Koji Yamamoto, stoic on the Japan bench. Japan played three games in the first round in Pool A, and they scored a total of 13 runs. And that is against two teams that aren't regarded as international powerhouses, Brazil and China. They both held Japan to just five runs. Lin Chi Shen. Setsu gets a strike. And it's 0-1. You really, after watching five innings, of Chinese Taipei come to the plate, you really get a sense of what their manager, Shea Chong Hung, was telling us yesterday, and that their hitters are very different than uh, the Japanese hitters. Not as many going the other way, a lot more pull hitters. That one popped out into shallow center, and Ibata's out there to catch it.
and East Taipei. They have just five hits, but the two extra base hits, the two doubles have come in to score. A leadoff double in the third, a one-out double in the fifth, and they've been able to cash in. And there's opportunities when they've had chances to drive in runs. Joshi Chi. Joe walked with the bases loaded in the third. And he takes a strike. Long way to go here, but still alarming if you are a fan of Team Japan. Offensively, they haven't really shown the ability to string hits together, nor have they been able to hit the ball out of the ballpark. You know, it's hard to say it in in baseball most often but it feels like Chinese Taipei has taken the crowd out of this game. It's pretty interesting but we have seen throughout the games in which Japan has played they don't cheer much when they're on defense. Most of their chance and most of their cheering comes when they're at the plate. I'll tell you what though when they were behind to Cuba six to nothing and that was in Fukuoka in a game that I don't want to say was meaningless but they were both headed here. That's when the crowd seemed to shift it into overdrive and Japan rallied for three runs. Hung back at first. Josie Chi is the hitter. Another run across this one coming on an RBI single. Hong Chung Ming, he's at first. He drove in the run. First run came on a bases loaded walk in the third. The lefty Atsumi Nomi got the start. A bit of a surprise. And that was the last hitter he faced in the third. Had a good off speed pitch from Setsu. Setsu has three strikeouts since entering the game back in the third. And this is a good splitter. You can see late movement down and away from the left handed hitter. That's who gathers himself. The Netherlands took down Cuba. They did it with long ball. Jonathan Scope, the 21 year old shortstop, playing second base. Baltimore Oriole prospect. Many feel he's going to get to the big leagues at some point this year. Put on a show. Runner goes. And a ground ball foul back to the screen. Scope had a, an RBI double, a three run homer. And a single we have grudgingly had to call it a single he bounced one off the wall and left and the runner Andrelton Simmons stopped went back to first got thrown out at third and the official score gave him just a single but a, a phenomenal day nonetheless to drive in for the six runs in the win over Cuba scopes a big kid six one one ninety five and he moves around very well around the bag at second. Long at bat here, Josie Chi battling. Chinese Taipei has a 2 0 lead, and they've got Chin Ming Wong with a manageable pitch count right now sitting in their dugout. With two outs, the battle continues. One final thought about Jonathan Scope. Buck Showalter, the manager of the Orioles, showed us last year that he's not afraid to bring up a young player. He brought up Manny Machado and put him right into the lineup at third base. And that paid off. Sure did. And Machado is a shortstop. But they had him move over to take ground balls at third in the minor leagues, promoted him to the big leagues, and made him their regular third baseman. 
Brian Roberts has been hampered by injuries the last several seasons and Jonathan Scope is certainly on Buck Showalter's radar. Another one two. Runner goes. It's taken. Strike three called. The inning is over. Setsu strikes out Joe Sichi. But another run for Chinese Taipei. And it's 2 0. 2 0 Chinese Taipei on top of Japan. There's a lot of international intrigue and paranoia that goes into the World Baseball Classic. And right now, the umpires have drawn not only the grounds crew, but it looks like some top level Tokyo Dome officials. I mean, when a guy with a suit and a clipboard is out on the mound, you know something's up. And look at that rubber and the big hole there. Well, and that's a little bit different than what they're used to here in the Tokyo Dome. During the regular season, that's not unusual because the mounds during regular play in the professional league here in Japan are traditionally soft. But for the tournament, they have standards and they have increased the amount of clay put in front of the rubber and out at the landing area. They make the mounds much firmer. And the Japanese pitchers like the soft mound. They like the ability to slide. Chen Meng Wong pitched in the big leagues. He wants to have a clay base underneath his back foot for sure as he pushes off that rubber. So now they have called upon the grounds crew to come back and build up the clay in <laughs> front of the rubber from the size of that hole this is not going to be a quick fix either they've got the clay and they're going to have to fill it in then tamp it down and all the while even the guy in the suit and the clipboard is back out all in the while it well this is going on Chin Ming Wong is standing out there trying to stay loose so I don't think this is a ploy by Japan to slow Chin Ming Wong down. I think it's just a, a factor of what you mentioned. The Japanese pitchers trying to soften the rubber up and they've done a pretty good job of that. Yeah and you can see they're tamping down that clay in front of the rubber but we've seen this in the major leagues when they have problems with a the mound. They can't normally fix it in the course of the ball game. They'll have to wait till after the ball game and they'll take that clay and really use those tamping tools to tamp it down. Sometimes they even use a power tamper like you'll see oftentimes on road work. They'll come in and tamp down that under base of the asphalt. But Chen Meng Wong continues to try to stay loose and it'll be interesting to see how this new clay holds up. Well the story here for Chen Meng Wong he had a great start in round one and a terrific start here so far. Not only is he pitching for his country, but he's also pitching for a job. Now, Buck Martinez has managed in the big leagues. He's managed in the World Baseball Classic. From what you've seen, is this guy worthy of a big league contract? Well, I think he's going to have to show a little bit more to the scouts that are here, but we have seen him have moments in the course of this game where he's got that sinker going straight down. The problem that we've seen earlier, we mentioned Chen Ming Ong working up in the zone. He's getting on the side of that sinking fastball. And when you do that as a sinker ball pitcher, the ball runs along the plane of the bat and becomes very hittable. He got hit hard early in this ball game. Defense made some good plays behind him. But I think he's shown enough to create some interest in the minds of the many scouts that are in attendance here at the Tokyo Dome. Remember, the problem has been injuries for Chen Meng Wong, and he appears to be healthy. Shinosuke Abe, fielder's choice and a strikeout. Let's see if this long delay has affected Wong at all. A high fastball ripped to first. Hung Chao Ming steps on the bag. 69th pitch. He has 11 more in the holster right now. Yeah, and he's been fine as far as that goes. He's been relatively efficient. But even as we speak, the Bullpen is starting to get loose. Conway Lung, the right hander on the right side. They're both right handed. Two right handers loosening up for Chinese Taipei. Yoshio Itoi, who has doubled and bounced out. The 
you got a big leaguer on the mound. There has been Major League Baseball in this facility with some regularity. 2 0 pitch strike at the knees. The Cubs and the Mets back in 2000 were the first Major League regular season game in Japan. The Rays and the Yankees followed in 2004. The A's and the Red Sox in 2008. Oakland and Seattle opened last year. In the air to left, that ball's hit pretty well. And a leaping catch up against the wall. Young Dai Kong. Young Dai Kong is the leadoff hitter, and as we mentioned, he's a star player for Chinese Taipei. He plays here in the Japanese Professional League. He's played since 2007 makes a nice play in the outfit obviously having played here before very comfortable with how much room he has out in left field and Chen Meng Wong loves the defense that has backed him up tonight and he is a showman out there in left field he is a flashy player reminding us all of Shinjo that uh, flamboyant outfielder that played in Major League Baseball for a season or two. Though he doesn't have the neon sleeves and wristbands. The breaking ball, you mentioned that he never really has had a, a good one and he mixes it in there. Yeah, one of the better breaking balls. He didn't throw many tonight, but that was timely use of a good breaking ball. Ayata Sakamoto, the shortstop for Japan, two outs in the sixth. Fastball in, blooped into right center field. Long run there is. Lin Jai Xuan, he makes the catch. Six shutout innings out of Chin Ming Wong. Two nothing, Chinese Taipei. Tight ball game, good ball game. Chinese Taipei on top of Japan. Full house, Tokyo Dome, game summary, defense. Numerous times with runners in scoring position, the Chinese Taipei defense has bailed out Chin Ming Wong. This is a terrific play by the shortstop Lin. Chi Chin. Japan has been hard pressed to come up with a big hit, and so far they are one for seven with runners in scoring position. Chen Ming Wong has done exactly what Chinese Taipei was hopeful of, keeping the Japanese hitters in check. It's been an interesting game on the mound for Japan. They started at Sumi Nomi, who, if you listed the starters that Japan had available, he'd be middle of the pack at least. But they followed him up with two of the premier arms in Japanese baseball. Tadashi Setsu was outstanding for a couple of innings, and now Masahiro Tanaka takes over. Tanaka, many people feel, will be the next big arm to come across to the United States. Plays for Rakuten. He went 10 and 4 last year with a 187 ERA. He had a shaky start first time out. And did not throw the ball well, but turned the ship around when he came in to relief. As Koji Yamamoto wanted to get him sorted out, he brought him into relief in the fourth inning of the game against Cuba. And that's where he left off. He struck out six in two innings of work, and here he uses that splitter that really worked effectively with. The hitters for Cuba, and he gets a strikeout. First batter he faces here tonight. And he gets Lin Hong Yu, Chongqing Ming, now coming up for Chinese Taipei. If you're just getting up and just tuning in, Chinese Taipei coming out of Pool B, advancing with the Netherlands, taking down Korea. Actually, they lost to Korea, but with Netherlands beating Korea. Chinese Taipei had a run differential going into that ball game. As long as it was close, they advanced, and it was a, a one run win for Korea. And I think many people felt that they were a bit of a Cinderella advancing here. But here they have Japan on their heels in front of 42,000 in the Tokyo Dome. It has been loud and raucous. 
But so far it has been all Chinese Taipei. Well, this is nasty stuff. This is what we did not see in his start in Fukuoka. He's really got the splitter diving down and away and that's an unhittable pitch starts out into strike zone and dramatically breaks out of the strike zone back to back strikeouts for Tanaka. Skipper of the Japanese team Koji Yamamoto. Great player in his day. And a swing and a miss by Chen Youngji. I'm sure that Koji Yamamoto is going to be questioned as to why he didn't start Tanaka in this game tonight. Tanaka threw so well in his relief appearance in Fukuoka. We mentioned two innings, six strikeouts, but Yamamoto chose Nomi to start. Here's the odd thing about his last appearance. He was awful in his start to open that series in Fukuoka. He came in in relief. And the first couple hitters hit some hot smashes off him. And he looked like he did in his first start. But then all of a sudden, he shifted into gear and he struck out six of seven. There's a fly ball to right. Uchikawa has it lined up. And that's a one, two, three inning. Tanaka all about taking care of business for Japan to the seventh two nothing. Boy a live shot of the Tokyo Dome our aerial shots of the World Baseball Classic made possible by MetLife Snoopy one a blip with a legacy in sports that is as rich as the images it captures put a leader in your lineup with MetLife Tokyo Dome. We've had the Snoopy one all day long starting with the noon game the Netherlands with a win over Cuba that was a fun game to call intense well played both teams look like big league clubs out there and here 42 thousand most of them here to cheer for Japan there are some fans from Chinese Taipei and right now they're enjoying it and we Lun, the new pitcher 31 years old he picked up the win in the second game for Chinese Taipei against the Netherlands a roller out to shoot out to second. Ko Yen Wen on to first in time and Sho Nakata is out number one here in the seventh. And this is a right hand. I know Chin Ming Wong was brilliant against Australia, but Pan Wei Loon had a great game against the Netherlands. He went four and two thirds, allowed just one hit, walked one batter, and didn't strike out a batter, but he allowed the Chinese Taipei to come back. They had fallen behind early three to nothing. But after they took the starter out. Pan Wei Lung came in and he allowed one hit. That was the only hit that the Netherlands could muster against Chinese Taipei as Chinese Taipei beat the Netherlands 8-3. That's Inori. In Naba. Now, Inaba had been slumping coming in. But not tonight. He's got a couple of hits. The 40 year old. This is very much like Japan's game against Brazil in the opener. They went into the top of the eighth, trailing three to two. And it took a three run eighth inning to dispatch Brazil in the opener of Pool A. It's tough to tell who the fan favorite is for Team Japan because every player has his own song and chant. No one too. But it seems as if the chant and the song with the most gusto is for this 40 year old. That's Sonoria Nava three for three tonight. He stays with this pitch. It's up. It's a running fastball. And there's a good example of that running fastball. It stays along the plane of the bat. There wasn't any sink to it. So Inaba is able to square it up. He has to reach for it, but his bat stays in the hitting zone a long time and he singles to left. 
Well, maybe this is another Japanese comeback. Toritani, a chopper towards second. And wisely, Kuo Yen Wen gets an out, and it's the second out of the inning. And Naba's now at second. Upcoming games in the World Baseball Classic, two Eastern. Canada against that surprising Italy team in Pool D. Spain and Puerto Rico in Pool C. Mexico and USA in Pool D. Check your local listings for the exact time in your region. A couple of interesting developments. Canada has lost their third baseman, Brett Lord. Sean Hill will start that game for Canada. And Italy has lost their closer for this game. Jason Grilly went over the pitch count, so he won't be able to close for them. Mexico lost a disappointing game to Italy in their first game, and they'll be facing the knuckleballer, R.A. Dickey, the reigning Cy Young Award winner in the National League. He'll open it up for Team USA. We're going to have a pitching change here with Inaba at second. Back to the top of the order. You got a lefty coming up, Katsuya Kakanaka. With Chinese pay on top in Tokyo. 2 0. This copyright telecast presented by the Authority of the World Baseball Classic Incorporated may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of World Baseball Classic Incorporated. Hung Chi Kuo, the former Dodger. Who has battled injuries and did not pitch in the big leagues last year? The lefty comes on. And he'll be facing a pinch hitter. He's a Yoshi Chono. Chono takes a breaking ball for a strike. Had a great year last year. Hit 301, a 382 on base, stole 20 bases, 14 homers. Good, solid hitter. Started all three games in Pool A in Pukaoka. Fastball foul back out of play. You've got Atsunori and Naba, the 40-year-old, who is three for three. He's at second. Japan has struggled to score runs. They've struggled to get extra base hits. This is their fourth game. And they have just two extra base hits. Both of them doubles. And both of them, by the way, by Yoshio Itoi, their center fielder. One, two. Chico with a fastball. And a good fastball, making Chono reach for it. Chono plays here for the Yomiuri Giants. We mentioned there are three position players the shortstop, Sakamoto, the catcher, Abe, and the outfielder, Chono. So he's got a lot of support in this ballpark. Quo one two pitch inside out and that's a danger when you face the right handed hitters of Japan even if you come in they'll step out almost bailing out and still drive it to right. Yeah even against the left handed pitcher they are thinking back up the middle opposite field. They aren't very pool conscious they like ball out over the plate they'll stay inside the ball and just. Be patient to put the ball in play opposite field. He got him with a fastball. Hung Chi Kuo out of the bullpen. Blows away. He see Yoshi Chono and it's still 2 nothing. Seventh inning stretch and you can feel the tension and the anxiety among the crowd here. Hung Chi Kuo. 
plagued by injuries throughout his career. He's had two Tommy John surgeries. He had loose bodies removed from his elbow last year. He did not pitch. And boy, did he get a big strikeout. So a 2 nothing lead. Tanaka stays in. And a breaking ball misses down low. Kuo Yen Wen. The number nine hitter for Chinese Taipei. Yang Dai Kong, leadoff man. Then Jashuen. Tanaka came in and went one, two, three in the sixth. Kuo Yen Wen had a leadoff double and scored the first run of the ball game back in the third inning. Good hack there. He fouls back the good fastball from Tanaka. And while uh, many on Sports Talk Radio here in Tokyo tomorrow, at least I assume on Sports Talk Radio tomorrow, they'll be questioning why didn't Tanaka start? Why didn't Setsu start? The real story is Japan can't score runs right now. Tanaka strikes him out with a fastball. Three strikeouts for Tanaka. Setsu had four strikeouts. This time Tanaka uses that good fastball, gets it in a good spot down and away, and strikes out Kuo Yin Win. Three strikeouts for Tanaka, and you're right. Koji Yamamoto is going to get questions after this game. Why didn't you go to Tanaka? Why didn't you go to Setsu? And you're also right in saying it's not so much the pitching, it's the lack of clutch hitting. Japan has not been able to come up with the big hit throughout this tournament. Or even a significant hit, not just a big hit. They have just two extra base hits in about four games worth. Jam shot, Yang Dai Kong rolls it to second. And Ibata makes the play. And there are two outs. Well, the one thing that's had to be satisfying for Tanaka is all of a sudden he's found his release point, and he is pitching like the scouting reports we read before we came over here. And we saw him in that first start; he wasn't very good, but he's turned it around. Two outs in the bottom of the seventh. We started the day with Cuba and the Netherlands and with this matchup as well I think many people expected Japan and Cuba to get through to the winners game. But the Netherlands set the tone early on that Kurt Smith Homer Jonathan Scope took over drove in four and they knocked Cuba around five double plays didn't hurt <laughs> as well. Behind Diego Mar, Markwell. And now here you've got the home team. All the hype. First time the second round has ever been held here in Japan. Sellout crowd, Tokyo Dome. And Chinese Taipei has a 2 0 lead. Lin Jashuen. The home team playing as visitors because they finished second to Cuba in the first round. They're running out of outs. Filthy. Tanaka with a good fork ball. He has punched out four in his two innings of work. But it doesn't matter unless Japan can score some runs. Single runs in the third and in the fifth. And Chinese Taipei has the lead. Masahiro Tanaka showing the form. That all the scouts want to see who are here in attendance has made him one of the, if not the premier pitcher in Japan. Four innings of relief since his first start and 10 strikeouts. Hung Chi Kuo still in there, and a new catcher is with him. Kao Chi Kong.
two, three, four in the Japanese order. Hiro Ibata, Seichi Uchikawa, and the captain, Shinosuke Abe. Sharp and it's one and two. He's had, as you pointed out, numerous procedures on that left elbow, five separate operations, two of them Tommy John surgery. Yeah, it's very rare that you have a pitcher come back from two Tommy Johns. Kyle Drabeck of the Blue Jays has just undergone his second Tommy John and he's hopeful of starting. The second half of the season. Brian Wilson of the Giants, formerly the Giants, also coming back from his second Tommy John. I mean, it is a rarity to have a pitcher pitch after two Tommy Johns. Liner in the right center, and it falls for a hit. Ibata just serves one into shallow center field. The breaking ball that stays a little bit up, and he's able to put it in play. It was a leadoff single by Seiichi Uchikawa in the eighth inning of Japan's first game that sparked their three run eighth inning and led them to victory over Brazil. They trailed starting the eighth inning three to two behind Brazil. Now Uchikawa, who is one for three, but he's four for ten in the classic. Yeah, that eighth inning against Brazil was the magic inning for Japan. And I guess a, a question: You do have some left-handed bats in this Japanese lineup. Makuo is out there facing a good right-hander. Now he's got Abe, the lefty, on deck. And obviously not somebody that Japan is going to pinch hit for. High chopper. That's going to get into right field. A base hit. Ibata to third. And he's in there. An AstroTurf single to right. Uchikawa delivers again another base hit and he's the guy that started the eighth inning rally against Brazil in the comeback win. He stays inside the ball goes opposite field another base hit not particularly pretty but it looks like a line drive right now. Hung Chi Kuo and his skipper on the way out. She Chong Hung. He wants the baseball. And he's going to go deeper into his bullpen. Chin Ming Wong started. He was brilliant. Six shutout innings. But, but Chinese Taipei right now hanging on to a 2 0 lead. Big moment in a sold out Tokyo Dome. Chinese Taipei looking for an upset. Wang Ching Ming out of the bullpen. Runners at the corners for Japan. Nobody out in the eighth. Interesting move by Chinese Taipei bringing in the right hander to face Abe, a left handed hitter. And a great left handed hitter, the MVP of the Central League last year, the star for the hometown Yomiuri Giants, beloved. In this enormous city. Looking for his first hit of the tournament. He's taken an 0 for 3 tonight and an 0 for 11 in the tournament. Infield is playing for two. They'll give up a run for a shot at two. Abe pops it foul and out of play. 
Abe hit 27 home runs. He was second in the league to Vladimir Valentin. Valentin played this afternoon for the Netherlands. Abe is not a young player. He turns 34 on the 20th of March. Wang Chong Ming out in front, 0 and 2. And it's down low. Relief pitching, so important for Chinese Taipei to get here to Tokyo, and now it's really being tested. They've got a couple of big arms that they count on as setup men and closer, but they're not there yet. They'd like to save them for. A little tougher situation. Pretty tough right now with Abe at the plate. One, two. Fastball, ground ball, base hit. Shinosuke Abe, the reigning MVP in the Central League, gets a first pitch fastball, big cut, and fouls it off. He's quickly in a hole, 0 and 2. Takes one downstairs and then delivers his first base hit of the tournament, his second RBI, and just like that, it's a one run game. And Bedlam in Tokyo. Yoshio Itoi, the number five hitter, is up, and don't be surprised if he's bunting. Koji Yamamoto has bunted with just about everybody in his lineup. He used Detroit to bunt in the eighth inning of their first game. Three consecutive hits, Japan's first run. He's bunting, drops it down to third in time to get the out. Wang Ching Ming, a real gamble, but he gets Uchikawa at third. A defensive replacement behind the plate, Kao Chi Kong. Well, watch Kong how he calls for the pitcher to go to third, immediately letting the pitcher know he's got a shot to get the lead runner. Huge out at third base, and it keeps the double play in order. Here is Hayata Sakamoto. Pinch runner at second base. So Abe is coming out of the game in the eighth inning. Japan's best hitter. They want speed at, at second. Abe, of course, has that sore knee. And the aptly named Yuichi Honda comes in. So Honda is at second. It toys at first, and here's Sakamoto, the shortstop. And he takes outside. <laughs> Wang Ching Ming. That ball is foul. There's an awful lot of foul territory in this ballpark, not only in front of the dugouts, but down the foul line. In stark contrast to the Yahoo Dome in Fukuoka, which was really tight down the lines. And you see Abe says, hey, if I'm coming out for a pinch runner, that guy better score. Ball and a strike. Fourth pitcher to work for Chinese Taipei. Wang Ching Ming with a fastball and it just missed. Koji Yamamoto's team rallied in the eighth inning of their first game. Two one. 
That didn't miss by much, but you could see the catcher who was set up out. Couchy Kong had to reach just a little bit. And the count now is three and one, and it tightens up in the Chinese Taipei dugout. A little smile there from Wang Ching Ming. Sakamoto has struggled in this classic. He's one for three tonight, but two for 15. Ground ball in the hole. It gets through. Out at third, the run scores. The game is tied. And if Japan doesn't pinch run for Abe, that run doesn't score. Great point. The ball goes off the shortstop's glove into left field. Honda, the pinch runner, scores from second. The throw goes to third to get Etoy. But now the go ahead run is at second base as he moved up on the throw. And Sakamoto delivers in front of his fans here at the Tokyo Dome. Yes, he's one of those giants. Now just listen to this place. There's the bullpen. I know it was a raucous crowd and Tai Chung. But this is amazing. Sho Nakata. Dignitaries on the field before the game. Long lines to get in. Sold out house. Postseason field in March. But well, sure is, and Shinosuke Abe gets a huge hit, his first hit of the tournament. The drive in a run, the first run for Japan, and Japan ties it up. They have out hit Chinese Taipei 11 to 5 now. Show Nakata in the dirt and it kicks away. It toy at third. Excuse me, Sakamoto at third. Wild pitch. <laughs> Koji Yamamoto hasn't changed his expression since we met him a week ago in Fukuoka. Yeah, he is managing the WBC team for the first time, and he's a former manager, former Hall of Fame player. And now we're going to have another pitching change by Sheikh Chong Hung. He's got his interpreter out to talk to Chris Guccione to inform him of the pitching change. Well, this was going quite well for Chinese Taipei, a 2 0 lead. They had six shot out innings from Chen Ming Wong. The bullpen was in. And once again, as it was against Brazil, the eighth inning is the magic inning for Japan. That man played a big role against Brazil, and he plays an even bigger role here tonight. <laughs> the universal language of baseball, I guess the wave is the wave. Big hitting for Japan. Down 2 0. They've tied it. Chen Hung Wen out of the Chinese Taipei bullpen. Runner at third, and he inherits a 2 1 count on Sho Nakata, who is 0 for 3, the left fielder for Japan. Chen Hung Wen was signed by the Cubs, and he's been time in the minor leagues from 2007 to 2011 and he's got a big arm 93 miles an hour with a fastball Chen Hung Wen got to triple A pitched in Iowa for the Cubs two years 2010 2011 so he's got some experience go ahead run 90 feet away. The 
it stays at two and two. Abe talking to his defense's replacement. That's the pitching coach in the middle. As he's going over that Chinese Taipei lineup, three, four, and five for Chinese Taipei, scheduled to hit bottom of the eighth. Sakamoto at third. Nakata with a 2 2 pitch coming. In the air, right field. Chung Chen Ming makes the catch, almost overran it. Japan rises up. Abe with an RBI single. Sakamoto, a pair of Yamayuri Giants coming through. World Baseball Classic, second round. It's been a classic day here in Tokyo, starting with another Netherlands takedown. They rose up and beat Cuba. You see Ryoji Aikawa, the Netherlands beating Cuba today. And here tonight, Chinese Taipei ahead of Japan the whole way until the top of the eighth. And it's 2 2 now. And you got to feel good if you're Japan. Remember, they didn't start Masahiro Tanaka, but now he's on the mound. He's thrown 22 pitches, and he's been brilliant. He's punched out four of the six he's faced. And he's retired all six. Until that in a center field. Hung Chang Ming, take that. High fastball. Hung Chang Ming. We mentioned three, four, and five, middle of the order for Chinese Taipei, and they get their leadoff man aboard. Second hit of the night. Hung Chang Ming is now two for three, and he was hit by a pitch. We told you that Japan in the four games that we have seen has not hesitated to bunt anywhere in the order. For Chinese Taipei though you've got their cleanup hitter and maybe their best power hitter in Li Shen Shen but he's popped up three times he's not looked good. Yeah he's really had a long swing he drops that back shoulder and he's been vulnerable and they've been able to handle him easily. The big, strong shortstop. Lin Chi Shen is 31. Very good fastball hitter. And we've seen that Tanaka has been throwing that fastball in the low 90s. Starts Bur him with a breaking ball. Missed with that slider. The best pitch for Tanaka since he's coming to this ball game has been that wicked put away split. And he'll throw it any time even when he's behind. Especially to an aggressive hitter. Like Lee Chi Shin. Breaking ball pulled foul. A ball and a strike. Boy, another slider. You can see the tight spin of that slider really fooled Lin Chi Schwinn. Lin Chi Shen waits and almost took it off the chin. Masahiro Tanaka. A terrific pitcher pitches a regular season for Rakuten 10 and 4 in a regular season in 22 games at 169 strikeouts and 19 walks. Swing and a drive left field and deep and it's off the wall and it bounces back towards the infield. It's a double and here comes Chinese Taipei. Lin Shi Shen, a double off the wall. Peng Chang Ming stops at third. And Tanaka shows that he's mortal, a hanging breaking ball. Ball stayed on the inside part of the plate, hits halfway up the wall. And they end up second and third, still nobody out. And the cleanup hitter comes through for Chinese Taipei. We mentioned it would be a tough bottom of the eighth inning. 
three, four, and five, the scheduled hitters, and they have put Tanaka on the ropes. Tetsuya Yamaguchi just got up in the bullpen. Josie Chi has struck out twice. He walked with the bases loaded. Obviously, you want a strikeout pitcher out there, and you've got him with Tanaka, who has four strikeouts tonight. Tanaka has been very efficient. He's only thrown 27 pitches, so fatigue should not be a factor. And he has the ability to rack up strikeouts. That's what you need now, second and third. Nobody out. Infield in. Aikawa behind the plate. Remember, Abe left for a pinch runner. Aikawa started game one for Japan against Brazil. Abe was dealing with a sore knee. So they're confident in his ability to catch. Koji Yamamoto, skipper of Japan, so much pressure. But what an advantage to play here in this place tonight. Lined in the center, it's a base hit. Scoring is Pung. Lin will stop at third. And Tanaka has lost it in a hurry. Well, we mentioned the middle of this Chinese Taipei lineup is tough. Joshi Chi with his second RBI had a bases loaded walk in the third first run of the ball game. And this is a bullet to center field. Hit so hard they can only score one. Big RBI for Chi Che. Both managers were out to make changes. Pinch runner at first, and a new pitcher coming in for Japan. Look at that. Look at the greeting that Josie Che gets in the dugout. And Tanaka, who was, Buck was dominant for two innings. And, and just like that, all three balls hit hard here. In the bottom of the eighth, and now Chinese Taipei is on top, 3-2. Masahiro Tanaka, the ace of the Japanese staff. The two innings went quite well. He retired all six. He struck out four. But in the course of three hitters, it has gone terribly wrong. Single, double, single, a run across. Japan's comeback to tie the game in the top of the eighth. Now it's 3-2 Chinese Taipei. And it's Yamaguchi who comes out of the bullpen. You had a pinch runner. Chong Chang Wei is at first base. Across the diamond is Lin Shi Shen. Shen had the double. Chong is running for Joe Shi Che. Who had the RBI single at the corners and the infields in. Lefty against righty. Kao Chi Kong's first at bat, the backup catcher. And he takes outside. Yamaguchi is a reliever, pitches for the Yomiuri Giants. Pitched in 72 games a year ago, just 75 in a third inning. We mentioned there are only four true relievers on the pitching staff for Japan and this is one of those guys that's used to pitching with runners in scoring position coming out of the bullpen. He's got his hands full here. One oh count. Catches a corner. And it's one and one. It were the, was the Japanese that introduced baseball to Taiwan, to China. Chinese Taipei has had its moments in international baseball. Most of those big moments have come at the Little League level. But here they're into the second round, and here they're up a run in the eighth in what would be an enormous win for the country. 
you think about the games in Taichung. They set an attendance record. The most people ever to see a baseball game in Taiwan. The television ratings were off the charts for those games, especially the last game against Korea. Well, here in Japan, Chinese Taipei has a 3-2 lead and looking for more at the corners. Nobody out. The 2-1. Good breaking ball. Backdoor breaking ball from Yamaguchi. Who was able to get it to the outside part of the plate. And this is the first at bat for Kao Chi Kong who came on defensively in the top half of this inning. Later today, rounding out your World Baseball Classic schedule, Canada against that surprising team from Italy. In Puerto Rico, Spain, and Puerto Rico, Mexico, and USA. That's a primetime start tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. 3 2 pitch. Up the middle, runner coming home. And stopping between third and home. Runners will all move up. Terrific job by Chinese Taipei. Not so much by the Japanese defense. Yeah. Lin Chi Shui, the runner from third base, who had the big double off the wall and left, does a good job of getting in a rundown, and that allowed the base runners to move up to second and third. So there are two more runners in scoring position. You can see how the shortstop, Yato Sakamoto, runs all the way to home plate, and in doing that, he allows the two base runners to move into scoring position. Boy, for a country that drills and drills on fundamentals, that has to eat at their manager, Koji Yamamoto. Yeah, you're playing the infield in for a reason. What you want to do is get that ball to the catcher quickly and then run the base runner back to third. Chong Chen Ming, one for three. Lefty against lefty, and they get him to pop up. That's a tough play. Sakamoto going out, reaches, and he makes the catch. Wow. That obviously was not an easy play. He almost overran it. He almost went out too far. But this is his home ballpark, and he has looked up into this roof many a time and found a pop-up. This is a terrific play. He goes back and you're right he almost ran too far not sure how far the ball was going to carry and reaches back over his shoulder to pick up the second out of the inning. Well Yamaguchi has done well to get a couple of outs. When the Japanese pitching coach is out. You would think though especially after watching Tanaka give up the three hits. The captain Abe can only watch. It looks like the pitching coach is waiting to get a sign from the dugout that the pitcher is ready. Bullpens are behind the dugouts in this ballpark, and you can see the infielders are having a laugh about that last catch by Sakamoto. And now here comes the manager. Indeed, that's what it was. They were buying time for the relief pitcher. Loosening up, and now Koji Yamamoto appears to be ready to make pitching change. Chinese Taipei, a two-nothing lead most of the night, lost that lead in the top of the eighth. They've got the lead back. Josh C. Chi. It's three-two. Bottom eight. Hard throwing. Hirokazu Sawamura. Into the ball game for Japan. Chinese Taipei has a run and has a one run lead in the bottom of the eighth and what would be a very large upset here in Japan in front of forty three thousand five hundred and twenty seven capacity listed at forty two standing room can push it close to forty four. Chinese Taipei would love to add more. They've got runners at second and at third. Sawamura has shown a, a good live fastball, but a straight fastball. Chen Youngji 
third baseman for Chinese Taipei. Second and third. Two down. There's the fastball. Good fastball. Upstairs and Sawamura. We had mentioned we had seen him earlier in this tournament, and he has the ability to pump that fastball by hitters. One out to Chen. Missed badly with that high breaking ball. That one looked like it slipped out of his hand. Shinosuke Abe. The captain, the catcher, lifted for a pinch runner. Koji Yamamoto on the left, the manager watching, hoping. 2 0 pitch on the ground, smothered across the diamond. Toratani makes the play. Inaba coming up, the Chinese Taipei. Three outs away. Well, it's down to this 3 2 Chinese Taipei. It would have been more were it not for the play by Takahashi Toritani. Smothered the ball, and with a runner racing home, got the out and on to the ninth. Top of Japan is the visiting team despite playing here in Tokyo. Atsunori in Naba. Chen Hung Wen. The Inaba shake all around the outfield, all around the stadium. Inaba three for three, all singles. The 40 year old digs in. Inaba finally. With a little luck, he has three singles tonight, and he certainly needs to get on base in the top of the ninth. He's facing a tough opponent in Chin Hung Wen. In Naba, Toritani scheduled, and then top of the order with Chono. 0 2 pitch. Ooh. Close. Chen Hung Wen just missed. Chen Hung Wen signed out of high school with the Cubs in 2007, played in the minor league system for five years, and he reached Triple A. Ground ball. One out. Ping Chao Ming makes the play, and Naba retired for the first time tonight. How stunning it would be if tomorrow. In a loser versus loser game, powerhouse Cuba would meet two time champ Japan. Not exactly how you would draw it up, nor how you would expect it to turn out. And of course, the loser of tomorrow's game goes home. Game over, tournament over. Here's Toritani. Just missed. Taiwanese manager Shea Chong Hung went to his closer with two outs in the eighth. He was able to get Sho Nakata to fly out. It was a 2 1 count when he brought him in. How about that? So he needs a four out save. He's 2 0 oh on a speedy runner, Toritani. Japan trying to rally here in the ninth. And avoid an upset. Had 24 hours of upsets in the World Baseball Classic. The Netherlands taking down Cuba. Italy beating Mexico. And Chinese Taipei knock off Japan. Two and one, a strike at the knees. Powerhouse Korea couldn't advance out of the first round. Baseball has improved dramatically around the world.
two one. That's low. No swing. Three and one. Toratani is not going to hit the ball out of the ballpark. If you're Chen Hung Wen, you want to groove this pitch right now. It's in. He's aboard. Japan has life. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound, Shea Chong Sun. This is the closer. I don't imagine they're going to make a pitching change. I think they're just going to come out here and try to help Chen Hung Wen calm down a little bit. There is action in the bullpen. Yang Yao Sun is the left hander. Well, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Now they had enough time to get him ready. It looks like they're going to make a defensive switch in the outfield. It's not a pitching change. They're going to make a change in the outfield. Coming in for Chinese Taipei, Chen Jiang Ho. Well, we're wrong. It's on the infield, a defensive change. Kind of curious at this point in the game they take out the second baseman Kuo Yin Win. So Chen Zhang Ho is it second now. And you hear the roar of the crowd as Hisayoshi Chono is announced Chono came in in the seventh and struck out this is his second at bat. Toritani with speed at first and a good sized lead. In the air center field late break Schwen comes in. And he makes the catch two outs for Chinese Taipei. Hirokazo Ibata one more out and Chinese Taipei will have one of their biggest wins in their country's history. They lost to Japan in the first round of the WBC in 2006 here in Tokyo. They lost 14 to 3. They didn't face them in 2009. Ibata, two for three, pair of singles and a walk. Do you dare run here if you're Japan? Well, we have seen Koji Yamamoto gamble throughout the early stages of this tournament. I don't know. It's a tough call. I wouldn't run him right yet. Well, he's, he's running scoring. on the pitch, taken for a strike, throw to second, safe. Yamamoto continues to roll the dice. This is a good throw from the catcher, Kauchi Kong, who came in defensively in the eighth. And indeed, Toritani beat the tag at second. A good straight leg slide beat a good throw. And now the tying runs in scoring position. Yamamoto with two outs. Ibata did take the pitch and it was a called strike. The counts 0 and 1. Tying run is in scoring position. That's Toritani. Ibata has had a good series, maybe the best series of any Japanese hitter. Five for eight. Ball and a strike. Chen Hung Wen, closer for Chinese Taipei. 
trying to get a four out save. He was able to finish the eighth. Ibarra had the pinch hit single in the eighth inning to tie the first game of the series for Japan against Brazil. Came off the bench and ripped a single to right. One one swung on and missed. He was laid on a fastball. It's one and two. The Japanese crowd going wild. The Chinese Taipei fans that are here need one more strike. One more out. Just low. Two and two. Japan has two of their best hitters lined up here Ibata and then Seichi Uchikawa on deck. Tying run is at second base. Two outs in the ninth. Line drive. Base hit. It's tied. Comes through for a second time with a big hit late in the ball game. A sharp single into center. And how about the manager, Koji Yamamoto, put the steal on with two outs, gets the tying run into scoring position in the first game of this tournament. He had his cleanup hitter, Bunt, in the eighth inning that led to a three run comeback win against Brazil. Ibata's at first. And Chen Hung Wen, who was a strike away, has to be careful that Ibata doesn't steal second. Uchikawa, he's had a solid tournament. Five for 11. Including two for four tonight. He singled in the eighth. Ball and a strike. This ball game is approaching four hours. Told you about this crowd here at the Tokyo Dome. They are into it. They have been from the first pitch of the ball game. Maybe that's the most impressive thing is that a four hour game and nobody's lost any enthusiasm or volume. And nobody's left. Popped up foul and out of play. Seichi Uchikawa, the right fielder, did not start in the final game of the first round. He had back problems. He tried to convince Koji Yamamoto, the manager, to play him, but he held him out of the lineup. Early in this game, he went into the seats down the right field line and landed on his back. But he is two for four so far in this game. He can hit. He's got great plate coverage. Uses the whole field. 
and never seems to yield even when he's behind the pitcher. He is a good two strike hitter. In the air should be playable down the line. Chong Chin Ming is there and makes the catch but Chinese Taipei loses the lead but not the game. Bottom of the ninth in Tokyo 3 3. Hirokazu Ibata with two outs and two strikes. An RBI single to tie the game. An enormous roar when he came back out of the dugout. They sang his name for a good long minute and a half before he finally tipped his cap and this place nearly fell apart. New pitcher for Japan Kazuhishi Makita 28 years old. Makita pitches for Cebu. He is a starter like so many of his. Teammates in the pitching staff. Pinch hitter for. Chinese Taipei Lin Yi Shuan and a strike Yin is a infielder he's hitting in the nine spot Makita's out in front 0 and 2 top of the order Yang Dai Kong and then Lin Jai Shuan been quite a ride here. That change up bounces in the dirt. Difficult delivery. Makita coming from the side has a change up that really dives away from the left handed hitter you can see the release point much different than what the Chinese Taipei hitters have faced all night long up the middle into center field and here we go again Lin Yi Xuan a pinch hit against Makita and a pinch runner immediately Lin Han will pinch run. So the pinch hitter, Lee Yin Chi, comes off and gets a big hit. Now Lin Han takes over as a pinch runner. Both managers using their benches in this latter part of the ball game. By coming out of Pool B as the number one seed, Chinese Taipei is the home team. Despite playing here in the Tokyo Dome. And Japan, having lost to Cuba coming out of Pool A, is the visitors. And that plays a role here in what has been a wonderfully tense and wild ride here in the Tokyo Dome. This would be one of the, if not the biggest, international win for Chinese Taipei to beat. Japan here in the Tokyo Dome. Throw the first runner back. Fade off man, Young Dai Kong had a sack bunt back in the third inning. That led to the first run of the ball game. He's been quiet tonight. Remember, he was the MVP in the first round. Bunt pops it up. It is caught. <laughs> Terrific play by Makita. Boy, they're going to check Makita because he got his glove caught on the turf as he made that catch, and it really bent into an awkward position. Great reactions as he sees the pop up off the bat, dives for it. Watch his glove. He catches it and then rolls over his wrist, but he's able to hold on to the baseball and hold it up for the umpire, Chris Guccione. Boy, this is fortunate that he didn't get hurt. He doesn't appear to be hurt when he gets up to hold the ball up for the umpire. Look at Guccione coming out to make sure the ball stays in the glove. Boy, terrific looks from the truck. Nicely done. And he's coming out of the ball game. 
really bent that left hand back. His glove got stuck on the turf, bent in a very awkward position, and they're going to take him out of the game just to make sure that he is going to be okay. They'll check him out and give him a good look over and check out that wrist, but he really did a heck of a job of holding on to the baseball despite the glove being bent in an awkward position. Great reactions by Makita as he comes off the mound, dives, extends, and watch his glove as it hits the turf. He rolls that wrist back, and he would leave the ball game, but he gets a huge out for Japan. And so Japan will have as long as it wants to get someone ready here on an injury. Still 3-3. Three, three. In the ninth. Well, guess what? Kazuhisa Makita went into the locker room. It looked like a pitching change, but he came sprinting back just about 45 seconds ago, took a couple warm up tosses, and he's back. Lin Joshua is up right now, and he drops down a bunt. That's a good one. Picked up. They'll test his arm quickly. And out at first base. Is Lin Jashwen. There he was. Either medical attention or an equipment issue. He checked out and then checked back in. Yeah, and obviously the umpires were on the mound when the pitching coach visited Makita. Well, Chinese Taipei bunting there. I'm not sure if it was a straight sacrifice or Lin Jashwen was trying to, to drop down. And get a hit as it is, it does move the runner up, but there's two outs. And now Peng Chong Ming, who has looked good at the plate, he's two for three. He comes up. You've got Lin Chi Shen on deck. They may they may just walk him here. Looks like they're going to put him on. They've got a base open. Well, but they it, have really rattled the cage of the cleanup hitter. Who doubled in the eighth inning that well, eventually led to that go ahead run? Well, it does set up a force out at second, which can be an easier out to get and a long throw to first from the left side of the infield. But you're right, it brings up Lin Chi Shen. Lin Chi Shen looked awful his first three at bats. He popped up in all three of those at bats. But then hammered one off the wall and left. And that was against one of Japan's best, Masahiro Tanaka. Yeah, he got a breaking ball. It stayed on the inner half of the plate. And it's interesting. You have a base open, walk the number three hitter to get to the cleanup hitter in a tie game. And remember, Chinese Taipei is the home team. So the winning run. At second base is Lin Han. And he's joined by Ping Chong Ming at first. And here is Lin Chi Shen. What Makita is going to try to do is get the ball down and away to Lin Chi Shen. He is a power hitter, stronger on the inside part of the plate. First pitch. Fastball strike. Japan's outfield is very shallow. They put themselves in a spot to throw the runner out, but they also put themselves in a spot where a ball could get over their head and the game could end. Yeah, this is interesting with two outs. Normally you see them play at normal depth with two outs. Time called at the plate. Lin Chi Shin hit a line drive halfway up the fence in left his last time up. Oh one pitch. Interesting that Makita is challenging the cleanup hitter inside. He's gotten ahead 0 and 2. You can see. Shinosuke Abe, the catcher, with a little advice for Ryoji Aikawa, who's behind the plate now. 
Oh and two. Makita. It's in. Not by much. At second base. Lin Han. Hung Chong Ming is at first. Tied at three. Bottom nine. Chinese Taipei had a chance to win it in the top of the ninth. But couldn't close the deal. One two. Makita with a punch out. We go to the 10. This was a 2 0 game with Chinese Taipei on top going into the top of the eighth inning. But Japan came roaring back. Shinosuke Abe with a big RBI hit. The Chinese Taipei reclaimed the lead. They had a 3 2 lead in the ninth, down to their last strike, and Japan tied it. Hirokazu Ibata with the RBI single. And here we are into the tenth. Good fastball in on the hands. Lin Han stays in the game and he's at second. Oh, one pitch. In the gap. And the backup catcher, Aikawa, starts the inning. Ryoji Aikawa, his first at bat, came on defensively and rips the high fastball past the second baseman. Tenth inning, a 3-3 game. Koji Yamamoto is a gambler. We saw him steal second with two outs in the ninth. He's had Etoy bunt in this tournament. Not bunting this time. That was a key play in that ninth inning. It was Toritani with one out, and it was bang bang at second put at second base. I mean that was Dave Roberts type stuff in 2004. Dave Roberts with the big stolen base for the Red Sox against the Yankees. Mariano Rivera on the mound and Roberts the biggest stolen base of his career. Red Sox were down three nothing in that series. Came back and won it. Well how long do you you stay with your closer out there if you're Chinese Taipei. Well, Shea Chong Hung, the manager, I'm sure contemplating. Well, he's got 27 pitches up on the board. And that's of concern, too. You get to that 30 pitch number, and you can't pitch in the next game. We saw. Masahiro Tanaka taken out of the game. He gave up three hits to start the inning, but he threw just 29 pitches. Chen Hung Wen wants to know where it missed. And so does his manager, Shea Chong Hung. First and second, nobody out. Extra innings in the World Baseball Classic. If this thing gets to the 13th, because of the lack of pitching in, 
the desire to protect some arms. You would start with runners on base if it gets to the 13th inning tied. We're a long ways from that. Yeah we are certainly but it becomes very interesting and you're right it's just to conserve the arms you see the pinch runner into the game. Matsuda. Matsuda was the starting third baseman. Earlier in this series and now he comes on he runs for Aikawa. So Japan has used two catchers. They've got just one left. And that's it for the closer. High drama in Tokyo. Chinese Taipei has gone to their bullpen. Lin Yi Hao takes over. He is the sixth to work. It would have been a wild night in Tokyo, and it is not done yet. Now they got to close her out with 29 pitches, and the Japanese team had figured out Chen Hun Wen. So now first and second nobody out. And Buck the 29 pitch is significant because as he, if he hits 30 he would not be able to pitch tomorrow if Chinese Taipei plays tomorrow and that is a loser's game. Cuba awaits the loser of this one. Japan looks like they're going to bunt Ayato Sakamoto. The shortstop squares. And he takes ball one. Koji Yamamoto has done a terrific job of managing throughout this tournament. He never panics. He seems to be able to sort things out in a very calm and relaxed fashion. He has used the bunt very effectively throughout this tournament. What you want your pitcher to do when you know the batter is bunting throw a strike give your defense a chance to make a play. They are crashing from first base shortened up at third base. Give him something to bunt. Two oh. Well, I went after it and he fouled it up to the screen. Chinese Taipei was able to get the lead runner in a similar situation in the eighth inning. When he toy bunted back to the mound, pitcher fired to third base to get the lead runner for the first out of the inning. Late night in Tokyo. Japan. Chinese Taipei all tied at three. There's the bunt. It's gorgeous. Better hurry. And they get the out. You can't roll it down the third baseline any better than Sakamoto bunts it. Perfect. You want the third baseman to field it. Get him away from the bag at third. And Sakamoto executes the sacrifice to perfection. Show Nakata 0 for 4. Lin Yi Hao with his infield in. Remember, Chinese Taipei was a strike away from winning it in the top of the ninth. One and oh. Hiro Ibata. Banged one and a left center field to drive home the tying run. And now Japan is threatening to take the lead.
Backup slider that misses. Two and oh. Nakata is a run producer. He hit just 239 for Nippon Ham last season, but he hit 24 home runs and drove in 77. We should get a great pitch to hit here. He did, and it's deep. At the wall, it's caught there. Both runners tag. Japan has the lead. There's your run producer. He got the ball he wanted. Something up out over the plate that he could drive to the outfield. He just missed a three run a homer. But he picks up the go ahead RBI with a sack fly. And there is Japan's first lead of the game. Well, a lot of heroes up and down the lineup for Japan. 4 3. They take the lead in the 10th. On a day of surprises, the Netherlands taking down Cuba. Chinese Taipei, a strike away from beating Japan. But now, Japan has their first lead with a run in the 10th. And Chinese Taipei goes to the bullpen again. Yang Yao Shun. And about four and a half hours, Canada and Italy in Phoenix, Spain, and Puerto Rico down at Iran Bithorn, Mexico against USA. Time to shake everybody. Atsunori Inaba climbs in. It's the traditional greeting out of the outfield. When Inaba steps in against the lefty. There they go. They got the whole ballpark going. The Inaba shake has spread all over the yard here in the Tokyo Dome. Three for four tonight for the first baseman. Little pop. And there to make the catch. Yang Dai Kang. Chinese Taipei now need to run. Japan three outs away. Sho Nakata with that sacrifice fly comes out. No curtain call yet. Crowd going wild. Crowd asking for acknowledgement. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What a fun night this has been. Well, it's been a big night, certainly back and forth, back and forth, and on the heels of a very big win for the Netherlands against Cuba. Japan has scored a single run in the top half of the tenth. And now they have gone to their bullpen once again. Toyoshi Sigauchi of the Yomiuri Giants on to try to close it out. Toshiya Sugiuchi. Takashi Tortani has moved from third base to second base. There were Hiro Matsuda who came into the ball game as a pinch runner is at third base the third catcher Jinjiro Sumitani is behind the plate. So Koji Yamamoto has unloaded his bench.
Nicely done, Buck Martinez. Fastball up. Chong Chang Wei at the plate for Chinese Taipei. And they need a base runner. Sugiyuchi gets a strike. They answered a two run top half of the eighth inning with a single run to retake the lead. Japan tied it up with a single run in the ninth. Ball in a strike. And of course, Chinese Taipei was a strike away from winning this thing in the top of the ninth. Boy, the headlines in the papers tomorrow would have been panic in the streets of Tokyo. They're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> it is 11.30 p.m. in Tokyo. And the crowd it has been lively, loud, raucous, and fun all night long. And they're still here to see if Sugiuchi can close it. 2 2 pitch. Little pop up, shallow center. Itoy is there and he makes the catch. One out in the bottom of the 10th. If Japan survives, Chinese Taipei they would get the Netherlands in two days Japan has a very good starting pitcher in reserve in Kent Tomeda who made a very impressive start in the first round Kao Chi Kong now backup catcher his second at bat he bounced to short Sugiyochi with a strike it's 0 and 1. It would have been a devastating loss for Japan. It would have forced them to play Cuba, who waxed them in Fukuoka just a few days ago. In the right field, not done yet, he said. Kao Chi Kong, a single. Chinese Taipei won't go away. Bottom part of this order for Chinese Taipei has done a good job all night long. That's a pretty good breaking ball. Down out over the plate. Chong Chen Ming. One for four. With a pair of punch outs. An infield single back in the second. If you're thinking about a stolen base, remember, and no offense, Buck, but. Kao Chi Kong is a catcher at first. Isn't this interesting? The batter, Chong Chen Ming, is squaring to bunt with one out. Well, remember, Chinese Taipei bunted with one out in the ninth to get the winning run in scoring position. They did, but they didn't score it. This has got to be a lefty on lefty situation where Shea Kong Hung, the manager for Chinese Taipei, is not comfortable letting the left handed hitter, Chong Chen Meng, swing away in this situation. The third string catcher, if you will, is into the ball game, but they don't have stolen base speed in their lineup. Yeah, they did not steal a base in the three games in Tai Chung. And the count is one and one. So you got the backup catcher at first. You've got Chong Ming at the plate. Ibata now at first base. And a one one pitch, a throw to first. Shinsuke Abe on the right. Abe delivered 
in this ball game. An RBI single in the eighth. In the comeback to tie it. He's bunting again. And he takes outside. Sugiuchi has run the count to two and one. Nevada coming over from first base, encouraging Sugiuchi to throw a strike. They're giving you an out in this situation. Long look down at third base just to make sure the bunt is still on. Third base coach now. It's the attention of the runner at first. Passes along the sign to the hitter. See if they change things up here. Well, a quick check to see if a hitter is bunting is often for a lefty. A deliberate move to first. Just to see if that hitter will slide his hand up the barrel of the bat to tip his hand. We didn't see that from Chong Cheng Ming. Jam shot of a fastball. And it's two and two. They took the bunt off. Well, it's been an interesting game back and forth. A lot of strategy, a lot of pitching changes. Nakata, the left fielder. Sakamoto at short. Been a team effort for Japan. Sugiuchi has one out. Oof. Three and two. Would you dare start the runner here? Yeah, I would. Just missing with this fastball. It's low, might have been off the plate. And if you're going to bunt with one out, why wouldn't you try a steal with a full count? See if you can't open up a hole, maybe get that base runner in scoring position, even in a strikeout situation. I always think it's very difficult for a catcher to come off the bench and make a good throw late in the game. Sumitani is the third string catcher. And time called and Chinese Taipei. He wants the, the runner at first base. Kao Chi Kong wants the signals again. Now there's always the danger too with a, a left handed pitcher if he is running and not an experienced base stealer that he gets picked off. Not running. In the right and it's going to fall for a hit. Holding at second base. Is the runner. My goodness. What an at bat. By Chong Chen Meng. He goes up in this at bat showing bunt and then with two strikes reaches down and serves one into right. The right fielder Seichi Uchikawa was deep not well, wanting to give up an extra base hit. After all that we've seen in this ball game, it looked like Toshia Sugiuchi had it under control. He came in and got the first out. He looked like he was overmatching Kao Chi Kong, who then dumped one into right field for a hit. Chinese Taipei, you see the two relievers in the Japanese bullpen. Chinese Taipei was willing to give up an out to get a runner at second with two outs. And as it turns out, they've got runners at first and second, and one out. The tying runs at second. The winning run is at first. Chen Young Ji. And he goes around. 0 for 4. Robbed of a hit on a nice play at third his last time up. In the eighth inning, with two aboard, he hit a shot down to third that Takashi Konitori made a nice play on to end the inning. Ground ball could end the game. If Japan can turn two. And a crowd that makes so much noise when Japan is at the plate, anxiously watching this. Good off speed pitch from Sugiuchi. And he's out in front, 0 and 2. Chinese Taipei doesn't have a whole lot on their bench. 
Lynn Pond is on deck. And Sugiuchi is out in front here. He's changed speed twice to get the two strikes. And he buries a changeup. It's one and two. Well, what a good play by the catcher as he squares up on that ball in the dirt. Obviously, you don't want anybody to advance in this situation. Sumitani, the third catcher on this roster, watch the fundamentals. How sound is that? Down on both knees, squares up on the baseball, keeps it right in front of him, and really killed it. Shinsuke Abe, the starter, lifted back in the eighth. The one two in the air. A lot of room, but not enough for that one. So change up, change up, change up, fastball. Just enough to get the pop foul, but it reaches the seats out of play. The outfield for Japan still deep. They'll give up a single, but they can't afford to give up an extra base hit. Chen Young Ji waits at the plate, one, two, off the end of the bat. Another changeup. It stays at one and two, and he broke his bat. It was Nakata's sacrifice fly that gave Japan this 4 3 lead. A Chinese Taipei who led most of the way and had a chance to win it was a strike away from winning it in the ninth. Now needs a run to tie. Two runs and they win it. I'm having trouble finding a bat for Chen Young Ji. He hit that ball right off the end of the bat and chipped a piece of the barrel off his bat. Now he's having a tough time finding a replacement for it. But that's a little disconcerting if you're searching for a bat in an, a pressure situation with a one two count. But back up there he goes. Chinese Taipei hoping he got the right one. Crowd amps back up. Sugiuchi ready. He's thrown a great changeup. Fastball in two and two. 83 miles an hour. A little long look in at the umpire from. Sugiuchi fastball off the plate inside. But it appears as though he's trying to set up that off speed pitch on the outer part of the plate. Well, I remember Chen Young Ji, though he broke his bat, at least got a piece of the last one. 2 2. Fastball. He's seen everything Sugiuchi has in the at bat. Tying run at second, winning run at first, one out, bottom ten. Sugiuchi, 2 2. There's the change up, and he left that one up. Still 2 and 2. The tying run is at second base, and in the outfield, Yoshi Itoi has a strong arm. Seichi. Uchikawa, the right fielder, strong and accurate arm. Shonakata is the left fielder. His arm isn't quite on par with the center fielder or right fielder. Another 2 2 pitch. Up the middle, out there, ball game!
43,000 who spent almost five hours dancing and singing and cheering can go home happy in Tokyo tonight. It took Japan a long time for the offense to wake up, but once again, the eighth inning was magic for them tonight. They scored their first two runs in the eighth inning to tie it up. Chen Ming Wong with a valiant effort for Chinese Taipei, but a very spirited ball game, lots of strategy. Chinese Taipei acknowledging the fans who really are supportive to their efforts. What a ball game. Japan will face the Netherlands in two nights and Chinese Taipei has to come back tomorrow night and face powerhouse Cuba whom the Netherlands dispatched today. There's your final 4 3 Japan in 10. Koji Yamamoto the manager for Japan really proved to me that he's a tactician rolling the dice calling for the steal with two outs in the ninth inning. Gets toward Tani to steal it. He would come around to tie the ball game up. <laughs> what an effort by Japan. And Koji Yamamoto did a heck of a job of managing. You know, that's uh, that's great. Line up on the first baseline. Tip your cap to this great crowd in Tokyo tonight. Lots more World Baseball Classic coming up. Canada and Italy and Pool D is next. Cuba. Chinese Taipei tomorrow night for Buck Martinez, our entire crew in Tokyo. I'm Rich Waltz. What a night. The proceeding has been a special presentation of the World Baseball Classic.